the bells? Dude, smash the bell. Dude. Yeah, but it's a fake Dude, liberty smash bell. smash the it's bell. It's not the real one. It's not the real. The bell. Dude, smash it. <laughs> What's that connect doing there? Uh, we're playing video games after this. Can I get involved? That was that funny? <laughs> you all spit the soda out? This is gonna be easy. <laughs> this shit's about to be easy as fuck. He throws laughs out. No, I don't. You throw laughs out. You have out. to earn them. No, you that I might, don't. That might, I, I don't. I've that never might get earned too earned far from your mouth. Is it really? Yeah, I'm gonna mm, keep you on it. Yeah. It's okay. Please, please. We're, we're gonna get there keep together. Keep honest. Yeah. He doesn't do a you're, lot of like YouTube you're stuff. maybe the funniest person we could replace slime with, now that I think about it. it like, in the wow. world? You're dumb as fuck. No, within the lore you of like YouTubers there? and yeah. streamers. Oh, I see what he said. Oh. Like permanent, like Wait, imagine, imagine this? the yard rotates slime out for one person so permanently. Yeah, after everything we've said. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, him, it being him would well, be Well, he doesn't cool. know why it's funny. Yeah. It's you looked at me and said that, and I didn't have any of the context. I was, well, I, I'm just, I'm just looking, at, I'm lost looking at you, you know? Thinking. The context is lost that- Lost is a pretty good show until well, season three. Nick, you should say it, Nick. Wow. I should say what? The context. The context? Of Carl. Haven't we already explained this to him? Have we? I don't, well, we're on don't a podcast, so. so we're going to act like we haven't. Uh, so uh, one time we were in the kitchen, and this is the context, right? Yep. Yeah, so one time we're in the kitchen, and Carl's on the, or, or Lud's on the phone with you, and he's like, all right, love you, bye, and he hangs up, and we're in the kitchen, and me and Slime kind of like, we're like, you have never said you love me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he doesn't, though. That's what I'm saying. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, have you, what have you ever shared with Carl that was, like, what have you gone through with Carl? And he's like, he's, he's like my fucking guy, and I'm like, that's crazy. I've known you for so many years. I knew you before you were famous. Uh, you don't love me. And he's like, no, I, I love you too. Man. I'm like, you've never told me. So it's just kind of crazy. I'll say it's much easier to make friends before you're famous, though, to be fair. Yes. So that doesn't mean as If anything, that took points away from you. I see. So you're saying that I'm right that he doesn't love me. Yeah. He yes. has more reason to love you. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. And I'm, I'm to pretty be fair. <laughs> we definitely have. I'm just gonna, no matter how long you guys have known each other. <laughs> Even just the last Mr. Beast video, we've mm -hmm. definitely gone through more together than, than our than whole you friendship. Guys have. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that makes actually. Just talking about Mr. Beast videos like a war. <laughs> Dude, it was, bro. Thank you. And it wasn't like it wasn't a popular one. <laughs> like we came back and everyone was like, "Damn, <laughs> maybe we shouldn't have invaded." All that, all that for this. <laughs> oh Invading South Carolina from North Carolina. <laughs> was it? Well, he he kept talking the whole day we were there. He's like, "But." You're not gonna have fun tomorrow. Like it's gonna be so hot. You're gonna have a terrible time. So is is that all true? Can you can you speak uh, to it? Yeah, it kind of. I, I learned what what it is to film a Mr. Beast video because the first one I didn't really. Yeah. And it, it's it's. I think it's part of what I expected, but it's also a different beast. But it's also like Come trying on, to. Huh? Yo, that's beast mode. That's Come what on. I'm saying. It's also just trying to have fun. Uh, but what happened is, I was matching Carl's energy because I'm a matcher. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And then and then Chris is quite goofy. And then Nolan. Is what is like, my What was my energy? You're you're very goofy. You're you're silly. You're he goofy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Half like I think ninety percent of the things what? Carl says. Hold on, no, make him explain that. What, what is goofy? Ah, uh? yeah. You've never heard that. No. As he's how close. old are you? What? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm actually about to new slime. I'm about to palm this guy like a basketball. <laughs> oh my God, that's I'm fair. 25. How old are oh, you? Oh wow. Okay, Ludwig is 26. Is this your send off episode? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is awesome. How old are you? 23, bro. Hey. Same. I'm never gonna die. <laughs> are you, are you 99 back. or are you 2000? 98. 98. Your math is. Wait, but I'm I'm 96 and I'm I guess that checks out. He's two oh, I'm years turning 24. Yeah, that means you're past 24. Okay. okay. Uh, real quick, welcome back to the yard. It's episode 52, which means we've done one this bitch year. for a year. Wait, I'm the, I'm the oh, year. You're the, the year, one year. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, this it is was actually, us four the whole time it together. Was. This yeah. is the uh, announcement of the yard SMP. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're just switching full force to Minecraft. It's replacing slime. He was kind of mean to everyone. Yeah. For your, uh, Didn't work yeah. out. Very controversial. But we need a bit of a rebrand. Yeah. We're trying to be more As brand safe. See, Talking about rebrand. Me and Hassan have a pitch for you two specifically. Oh, fuck <laughs> this. Okay. What is it? No. Hear me out. I love I know, this. My, I'm nervous. I love Hear me this. Out. We ditch Ludwig. Uh-huh. Okay. okay in. It's us three and Hassan. Maybe Slime will figure it out. Mm -hmm. New podcast, The Front Yard. <laughs> yeah, this is just a bigger no, 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 podcast. No, 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 no. Because the rest of it is we do it at the restaurant in LA called The Front Yard. Ooh. I feel like you're the one that connected those dots. 
You said that out loud, and I was like, that sure, makes it even better. Like, he, hold on, hold on. It, uh, He's well, doing the pitch right now. You need to respect that. He yeah. didn't include that piece yeah, of information. So I feel like you're, you're forcing, talking, and that's the weird part about his pitch. That is that in there you're forcing you, yeah. you, you like that the, He doesn't want to lose us. That's what it is. I am, I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll, I'll, Perfect. I'll find you know, you know um, before before the yard, one of the early working titles was calling it Yard House, which is already a restaurant. Uh, and I thought it'd be really funny if we just started calling our shit Yard House and just like eventually got sued and then had to change it. I love that. Uh, but then we were like, suing is bad. Getting uh, sued is really funny, though. I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> kind of tight. If you have enough money. money, it's funny until you have no money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's less. It's less funny once they take it. And then it's hilarious, like ten years after the yeah, fact. Yeah. Yeah. It's when a, you're presumably doing okay. Again. It's, a, it's a bell curve of you don't know you're about to be sued, so you're not laughing. Yeah, and then no. you get sued and you're laughing really hard. The Enron, the <laughs> Atriok Enron lose. hats are really funny right now. Mm -hmm. But then a couple months later, uh -huh. you get to talk about the story of you getting it, sued. It goes right back up, right content, back up yeah. to funny, and it doesn't ever go back down either. Yes, sir. It's well, like, I'm I'm fully uh, into the front yard. Uh, we should make a little gnome well, that looks like Ludwig, and we have it on the set, and we laugh sure. at it and say it's a weird looking gnome. We don't, don't acknowledge it looks like Ludwig. Love that, but yeah. we don't call it Ludwig because I feel like that's a lot of free clout. Call it no more. Not that much clout at all. It's really too much clout it's to say. Hassan's his name on our... the pod, so it's gonna get demonetized. <laughs> no views on YouTube, head ass. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Beautiful okay. soul. Beautiful Yo. soul. Yeah, Lud no. said what? Good character, just really can't really execute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, what I was saying though about the shoot is we are all just fucking around and Mr. Beast like five times like I, I need someone to be like the straight man here like I, I need someone to drive, <laughs> drive this and forward. it was really hard for anybody to be the straight man when me and Ludwig were making out yeah it was you also know? unusable shit we were saying <laughs> it was just un cause like yeah I, I, what I've told I've told this to Carl before but Carl is like do you think have you thought about what I said I think you're funnier when it's no, not I, I want you to know I not only have I thought about that you hate I've, I've laid down <laughs> in my bed with my eyes fucking <laughs> just staring at my ceiling thinking about it. I want you to know that. Staring, Go ahead, say it. Staring at the ceiling of his beautiful home with yeah, collectibles and a lot home. of places in space. I think I'm good at soul reading creators. I did the same to Hassan about view count because one time he told me he'd be happy at 40k. I was like, you'll never be happy. And then he, like, he brings it up to me a lot. To Carl, I was like, you're funnier offline than online. Ah, and and then yeah. he, he kind of was like stun locked when he heard it and I guess I guess I got the I got the bing going on But every everyone's like that. I I would say a lot of creators that I know are funnier off camera. Yeah Just I, in general, especially if it's your own stream you you get like a 50% uh, Debuff yeah, of get, hilarity. Yeah, because you have to like make sure you're navigating the stream and It's going well and everyone's happy <laughs> and you can't just be like Nick. What What's that? Just a fucking yeah, you can't. Yeah. yeah, you can't even do it, bro. You can't even be me. I'm driving right now. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's the thing. You know how I found out you were funny. So I, I like came in. <laughs> I love these. these yeah. Are no, don't worry. And we're today's gonna, the day I found out Carl was funny. We're gonna grill your ass later. Uh, so uh, I, I uh, had, this, I came into a predisposition in the world where I sort of was like, you know what? Minecraft YouTubers, they they fucking they got it free. I don't even think they're that funny. Blah blah. blah. Yeah. I met, then I met Sapnap, and I was like, I love this person. Really? So when did you meet Sapna? We we played Fortnite together for Ludwig's tournament, and we I didn't like meet meet, but like we oh, spent okay, like yeah, you know yeah. we spent like an hour together talking yeah. and stuff. I'm sorry about that. And I was like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they got last overall. Okay, I believe that. But it was fun, all right. And I had a lot of fun. I was like, wow, this person's really cool. And then I met you, and I had like no no pre thoughts about you except that Ludwig is in love with you and not me, which is weird because uh, we've known each other so. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even care that. And uh, when we, we, it's we, about time, we, we went to your house. <laughs> we went to your house, and you give us a little tour, and uh, you opened up the drawer under your sink. And you said, oh, this is my sink deck. And you pulled out a Yu-Gi-Oh deck Yu -Oh from deck under your sink. sink. Well, you never know when you're going to need it. Uh, and that was the <laughs> moment true. that I knew you were funny. This was my moment, too. This is the exact moment. Yeah. <laughs> I said, all right, this guy's sick as fuck. You know yeah. what's tragic about that? What? We hung out for like five hours before that. <laughs> yeah, that is tragic. <laughs> yeah. that was five hours beforehand, he was still you teetering. Were, you were lurking in the background of a warehouse before that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was killing it back my then. My only social interaction with you prior to the sink deck was you standing in the back and Ludwig yelling at you, like, yeah, yeah I, I've always had this idea that Mr. Beast has like just people who like live and run around and roam the warehouse. But well, we just happened to be there, and then it was like thirty minutes between the gaming video we just shot and you guys being there to film that that uh, front yard episode. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah, and yeah. I'm just gonna start, saying start saying it. Getting I, know, yeah. start saying it. I don't love that. Uh, so I was like, I might as well just wait That's here for thirty minutes. Was my thought process. Yeah, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. And uh, I learned a lot about you, you like Psychonauts. That was big. Love Psychonauts. Yeah, we bonded on that. 
You know, uh, juggle. Good at soccer. Good at soccer. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is a good. Out- I like this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? About that? Hey. <laughs> well, you, you, List any of Carl's positive characteristics <laughs> now. Hey, it's your turn. Uh. So you got a podcast, Carl. Uh, oh yeah, your 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 shit took over Joan Rogan for for Joan, a bit, right? Yeah, we did. It was awesome. I really wanted to um get a bunch of is it public? It is public knowledge where he lives, right? Joe Rogan, yeah, he, yeah. Austin. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, I didn't want to Area Fifty One. I think yeah. it's Austin yeah. in Colorado, right? Well, I wanted to put a bunch of billboards in Austin that were just like <laughs> banter number one podcast. Beat out Joe Rogan. Like I don't even I don't I've never watched his podcast. And I'm like a, I don't know him as a person, <laughs> right? At all. But I just thought it'd be funny because I know that his fans hate it. it oh, really? <laughs> his fans were so it? pissed. Ivermectin doesn't work. Listen to <laughs> listen to banter number one podcast on Spotify. <laughs> number one consumer of Ivermectin. <laughs> I feel like I'm really surprised his. His demographic of fan would even notice that the podcast got overtaken. They got very. Um, it was a news story. It was a news thing because okay. we we beat it for like three or four weeks or something like that. Yeah, and his his fans were like, "Bunch of nobodies." Like, uh, I don't even know who these people are. And I'm like, "Well, to be fair, we like that's a bad argument because we literally passed your guy, right?" Yeah, <laughs> I just true. Like that's and then it makes your guy <laughs> less people. Like, okay, if I'm irrelevant. You guys are irrelevant and have no fans. <laughs> Yeah, and you're weird. bigger than our guy. <laughs> this, person that a weird had, one? this person at number one's got no listeners. <laughs> is that a weird yeah, one? Yeah, that's the weird. same shit when someone's like, you beat someone in a video game and they're like, you suck. It's yeah. like, all right, chill. But like, y- you what now you suck then? worse. <laughs> what are you? You have to accept that. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was a weird, it was a weird stance. Yeah. yeah, I think that there's like value in listening to something and it being the biggest in the world. And that makes you like feel comfortable. Like you're listening to the right thing. So yeah. if something dethrones mm-hmm. that or threatens it in some way. Maybe you're like, ah, fuck that thing that's yeah. dethroning my thing that's cool that I like that's supposed to be the biggest. Yeah. Which, to be fair, I don't even, I really don't care. Like, if his fans want to do that, that's fine. I, I'm fine with it. But it is funny. That's why I wanted to do the billboards. Yeah, of the right. creators I know, you seem the most most not caring. I feel like nothing phases you, and uh, and you are ready to just fucking die at any moment. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I feel like that I went through... That is such a leap. It is. It is. <laughs> to be fair, though, he's not wrong. I hate that. Except for about the, maybe the dying part. Which is half of it. Come on. Which, which was arguably like, 90% of it, <laughs> actually. On. That's Come so on. much of it. Gun ahead. You take it. Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't care so much that I'm going to go, I'm just okay that this is not actually a yard. Like, we're literally... In a Wait, house okay, right don't leak that. That's kind of a secret. Like, Nobody knows. Bro, what? It's, you're just, no, just going to tell else. them we're going to... This is real grass that you can't rip up. You know how many people when the show launched were like, like we would show something that like, like the floor would open up or something and they'd be like, it's not a backyard. Really? So many people. I thought it was pretty obvious. I mean, your sets, I love, this is my, this is my favorite set of any podcast. All right. I'll take that. God damn. What's your second favorite? I need to, it's going to help me. Banter. (laughs) Audio only podcast. (laughs) I was like, wait a second. (laughs) He just likes his house. I wanted to see if any of you would have agreed to see if like they actually didn't ever listen to it. I was on it. Yeah. Well, maybe not you, but if he was yeah, like, "Oh yeah, oh, that's sure, true." Sure. I wanted never to see if it. he was going to be a sheep. No. I thought, I thought your your house was nice. So thank you. Yeah. Wow. Not a set, but yeah, it's not, it's a, it's no tiny meat gang. <laughs> tiny meat gang set is a bit crazy. It's it's too it's crazy cool. for me. It's cool. It's very cool. It's, a bit it's, distracting, it's too you much. Think? Yeah. It's I'm like, a theme guy. Yeah. I like Rainforest Here, Cafe. Here's my issue. That's I think what I was about to... Tiny Meat Gang set it is like Rainforest Cafe. My issue with the set is that they, they went full force on like we're on a spaceship. Like mm-hmm. you can see outside, they're like in outer space. But the set doesn't look like a spaceship. The set just looks like a cool chill ass room for you and your buddies yeah. to smoke weed no, I do agree that you guys and should I, I, I think the... <laughs> wait, That's what? where you're going? Yeah. Oh yeah. So I want to fight Cody Ko with yeah. my bare knuckle fist. I feel like fist. you guys should box. That's yeah. True. And maybe give him a kiss. But uh, I think the inside should look more like a spaceship. But... Hey, great show. They're awesome. Yeah. And I like so both of them I, as they're, people. They're listening. Yeah. No, they're so not if you guys want to take notes. And they're not listening. No. Like, just write that down because Nick from the yard <laughs> takes Dude, a Dude, who from the yard? What? Who? And that guy's fucking like so annoying. Who yeah. are we talking about? Yeah, no, we don't like him. Uh, so Mogul Money Live. <laughs> Yo, Mogul Money Live happened. Wait. <laughs> Mogul, yo, what's up? Wait, why haven't we brought it up yet, though? Fuck. 150K We Andy. don't have to talk about it. You know what's fucking... <laughs> you know what's weird is that you said... Yesterday you said 140K, Andy? <laughs> yeah. And now today you're just gonna trickle it up ten no, k every more, day. It was one forty nine point five. So okay, I'm rounding so one forty. Well, you know what's fucking annoying is that I say one forty k Andy, which implies that's like my average. But you did that at one point, so it's annoying that you're here. <laughs> yeah, because you can own the real one forty k. Because I obviously am going to sink desperately down to the five digit range. Yeah, but you did one forty k for like what a few months. 
Yeah, I got bored. Yeah, <laughs> that was, yeah, that was it. Yeah, no, me too. That's it's why boring I'm being go like so successful. Yeah, who would win an entire YouTube sponsorship in a theater or Minecraft guy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I worked ultimate on battle. It. I worked on my role play pretty hard. Yeah, so. good. He's good at R Ping. I'm an RPenis. <laughs> Has role play from Minecraft transferred into your your sexual activity? Have you started role playing <laughs> in your regular life? I'm getting to the questions. You've got we've you got know, tons of fans that, out here. That's wondering. usually like it comes up every first date I've ever been on. Right. Yeah. You cut They're like, cut. am I gonna have to look like a creeper for you? You probably cut. What? Your penis? What? Oh, we you ask every guest if they're cut or uncut. Yeah. Is it like a show and tell type thing? Or? Don't you, we trust <laughs> you. know, you, I don't have to look. It, trust it, I could. it could be. It could be. But go to that side of the room. <laughs> <laughs> don't keep it on the pod. Just next don't to, give Archie. Next to don't give Archie that. Yeah. We're, now, we're now starting two camps. Uh, no pressure, obviously. We're starting two camps of people who have answered and haven't. Mr. Beast being the only one who uh, who hasn't. Who hasn't answered? Yeah. He has not. He's not answered yet. But it's all, it's statistically, all, we yo, know what the answer one is. One love, now. though. You know what I'm gonna do. I'm going to keep retention up for this podcast. So I'm going to answer right at the end. Hey. That's actually content brain as fuck. That's, That's crazy. why he's the 150K. It's no yeah. big deal. So. He does you know would have just shit. let what him say. What is this shirt? What is this? This looks familiar. Oh, it's from to me. Persona. That's cool I got looking. it at Comic Con. Uh, not Comic Con. Anime Con. Anime, anime, anime Expo. Anime Expo. So I was wondering it's, that because it almost looked like a Psychonaut shirt, but it's not because I've never seen that symbol. But I was just like, that's a cool I, shirt. I've officially run out of clothing, and that's the real reason I want to go back to Anime Expo today. Oh, like is, here in LA. On the trip. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I was supposed to leave yesterday. Right. And I keep staying in LA. You need something? I could dress you up before you go. Sure. He's got some good fits. I got some stuff. Yeah, I have another one of these. I'll take it. Yeah. Did you like Anime Expo yesterday? Like I live? Did. I did. You didn't like it? It was just a lot. There's just a lot of people. It's a lot. And we had a big group. And there were people in the group that would just run away. And then we'd have to find them over and over. Which was Tina. Was yeah. The only person in the group. Dude, we it were just <laughs> Tina. We were making a joke. Because like... Tina just is very absent-minded, so she'll walk and she'll see something, and it's like shiny, and she'll walk to it. Yeah. And, and we're like, yeah, it's the Kingdom Hearts mission where you have to drag Winnie the Pooh along. <laughs> and if you're too far away, he gets lost. You have he to just go starts back. like he sits down. And he's like, if, yeah. if, if, if you path around a tree, like <laughs> Winnie the Pooh gets stuck on the tree, he's yeah. walking forward. Really? Yeah. yeah. And then you have to go back, and he's like, why'd you leave me? <laughs> like, like, all right, all right. Look, quickly going back to Mogul Way Live. I wanted, oh, yeah. to, I wanted to say, um, so I've never met XQC, one of like the, the people in that like space. I've just never met before and before we were going on stage something that was happening a lot at Mogul Money Live for good reason because I have a much smaller following than everyone else who was on the stage uh, everyone kept asking me oh so what are you doing for the show <laughs> and, I, and I kept including Carl and I, had, and I had to tell literally everyone yeah you get that fucking right Whoa, mic right there that's not even true it is true it's true I came up and hugged I him I can tell Carl, Carl what happened no this is this is what definitely well, this is Nick's insecurity Oh, what the fuck? You don't know me. You heard, you heard something different. You just no believe him because he's hot and oh, new. He is I am hot, hot and, he's, and hot. Uh, <laughs> he's hot new. He has a head full of hair. Yeah. And you're going to die after this episode because you're old. And this now. is right after I, I got a haircut, by the you're way. You're older. I feel like slime. Mm -mm. So, <laughs> balding. No, he's dying. Yeah. Um, I went up to him and I said, I said, oh, you're going on stage today. No, he didn't. Promise, no, he, I promise. Bro, dead, no, dash. You did not. Okay, I'm okay, so well, tilted. No, no, no. What did no, they no, say? The, the council. I love we'll gaslighting. What did What did you say? So he came up. I gave my side. I said, "Hey, how are you?" He's like, "I'm doing good. I'm doing good." Blah blah blah. Mm. And I had my headset on already. Yes. And so he was like, mm. "What are you doing for the show?" Because I had a fucking thing on. He assumed I was like production. And I was like, mm. "Oh, I'm on stage." He goes, "Oh." No. Yes, that's exactly ah. what happened. I didn't want that. <laughs> Yo, you I made all that up. I'm you sorry. Made... I was on your side till I made the er uh, noise. Dude, this is a sorry, bit of a, pal. This is a bit of a. Oh, yeah. This, that was hey, sick. That was if you sick. landed it, I might. That was close. maybe I would have agreed. Fuck. But like, since you kind of, it was like I would. I, I, I would land it. It was really no again. shoes. Fuck your feet. I up. did it with fucking Burks first time. Anyway, you, look, I mean, you missed that's that. still shoes. You missed it too. I'm in a, I'm, I'm behind stage where we're about to walk out. Like, right. It's like the, everyone's cheering. You're like, they're doing their captain pick. And, um, I'm standing next to XQC. We're, we're the, the last people, not the last people to be picked. We're the two, only two people who are standing there waiting for everyone to come over. And, uh, XQC, the first thing he ever says to me, I've never met him. It's the first time he talks to me. He start he leans in and he goes, imagine you go out there. I don't want to do an impression, but he's like, imagine you go out there and like no one claps or laughs. <laughs> and I'm like I look at him I just start laughing because I can't believe he said that to me and I'm like what and he's like I'm just kidding I'm just kidding <laughs> and, and, then, and then he just goes out because he gets called yeah. uh, and I'm like what the fuck was that, <laughs> that you, you, know what that, you know what that's the equivalent of yeah. you know t tone indicators on yeah. like Twitter yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. It, the one that that really gets me is HJ which means half joking <laughs> yeah. so somebody will be like oh you, you piece of shit slash HJ 
You know what? <laughs> no, that just it means you mean that I'm a you piece mean of it, shit. But you want to be lighthearted about it almost? Yeah. That's, just, that's just saying the phrase no offense. Yeah. It, yeah. It's also two insults because it's also you're a piece of shit and I don't think you can handle insults. Yeah. So they're yeah, just saying you're so. a baby. That's and the one that gets to me. Yeah. HJ is the one that hits me the hardest. I, I've only known it for hand job. I think we should go back. HJ's be hitting me the hardest. That's what I'm saying too. <laughs> back in my day, it used that, to mean that's hand a job. problem. I'm, just, I'm a sensitive guy. I'm a sensitive guy. If you're sensitive, then like the other two, uh, anything else, three. Even. No, it's like it's okay. like the cooler, better right. version. So that makes sense. Yeah. He's like, it's so much better, not just because that's the only thing <laughs> that I've yeah, accomplished. Yeah, it's just it's always yeah. me, and it's I also do, um, good at it. I also came out on a bit like, damn, I got picked off. What the fuck? And I never put together that like it actually means I'm smart. Yeah, you were dumb. I tried to tell you that. And every single person that got picked was pissed about. The or like XQC thought it was because yeah. he was the smartest. I tried to <laughs> yeah. explain it live. I literally said, "You're picked first. That means you're the dumbest." And and, was, uh, no, uh, I won the show, dude. <laughs> I was just going. I again. want to point out in as as a as the crowd because I was sitting in the stands. You explained it perfectly. Yeah. And there was no reason to misunderstand it. I know. Yeah. And I, every I, single person misunderstood. I actually it. think everyone is very. To be nervous. fair, I can't hear him back there. No, yeah. you could hear me. There. No, it was it's it was really hard to hear. I said it in your ear. You bro. could hear him. So. You could in my ear. I was backstage when I said you were the best. You, I was oh, right no, next I to you. I heard that. Oh, okay. I'm saying leading up. Yeah, I, sure, I just sure, never sure. thought of it. And then once you said it, I was like, oh, I'm dumb. And I just like didn't say it anymore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You said you said everybody was nervous because this is probably for most of them. This is the first time, maybe the first time they've been in front of an audience like doing this. Yeah, I think everyone was like Leslie said she was pretty nervous, and so she said she was not talking as much. Like Kuno, I think was like pretty visibly nervous because you know obviously it's like yeah. a brand new element. Uh, and I think like I, the least nervous person seemed to be like Will. Who's Miz, just who's to, born yeah, to perform. Yeah. Miz and Soda who were just drunk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, and I think Miz was nervous till he did the crowd thing. <clears throat> yeah. And then he was like, oh, wait, I am Mickey Mouse. I know that he was nervous because he asked me if he should do the crowd thing. Oh, uh, he was iffy on it? Beforehand. Right. I was like, bro, it'll crush. Yeah. And it did. <laughs> and, and it did. did. That's, I, that's all time. I wasn't um, too nervous about performing. Right. right. I, I thought, I felt pretty confident about like going up and like doing my thing or whatever because I had Will and Connor. So like once I knew that, I was like, I felt pretty good. I felt nervous about people not being receptive to like not knowing me or whatever and like it not mattering what I say. Right. Like, I yeah. thought people might just be like, who the fuck is that? I don't even care if he's funny. It's I don't, a weird I don't care. environment to like get to know somebody yeah. when you're on. But once I walked yeah. out and you can't see anyone, right. like you're just, it just lights and you don't see a face and you're just it's like a big body that always laughs at like pretty much anything you say. I was like, oh, this is going to be I so think easy. the audience would know you more than most of the other people. I was going to yeah, say, yeah, you, got, you got huge cheers when you walked but, but, out. I, you know, yes. No. no. Okay. You got huge barks. Yeah, I had some woofers out there. I don't know where the fuck that came from. It was from, just but. a few people did it, and then I was like, I, "Can everybody woof?" And then everybody's like, "Okay, we woof when he does something <laughs> yeah, cool." Yeah, and it was kind of awesome, honestly. And I, I think this this leads us to the next segment that I want to bring up. Okay, is Ludwig from this? Actually, I think this might be the downfall of Ludwig. Was this Mogul Money Live? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh, he fell off. No, well, you're you're gonna agree once you, uh, once I get to I it. I don't know if I will. I think <laughs> he got so obsessed with the crowd work that he got to do that we went to anime expo yesterday and he kept trying to do crowd work <laughs> no. he does crowd work just for fun now with much smaller groups of people you're at the olive garden he's like he Yo. started a slow clap <laughs> press, at anime press expo <laughs> i just started i just started a slow what? clap in what context what's wrong with you, you so in what context does that make sense context it was it was, so we're getting chased around all day in our in our safe space, like our respawn point, like the GTA <laughs> hospital, is the OTV booth. And so when we're wasted, we go OTV booth, and uh, and there's people who work there, and they formed like a half dome around the booth. And they're like, do not enter this part of the dome. Yeah. You cannot interact with these people when they are in this part. And so we're like, we, it, we were saying it's like when you do the Halo shield and Halo reach. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And we're just holding it. But, there's, but like, here's the thing. Yes. Every single time we would look away from the crowd, it was literally like a half circle. Like picture a half circle and we were against a wall. Mm -hmm. Every single time we looked away, we would look back and they're about a few inches closer. Yeah. It was like the Doctor Who villain and you just yeah. keep looking back and there's like, it's, oh, it's like the oh, ghost in it's Mario. Boo. Yeah, it's, it's Boo. boo. When you turn your back, <laughs> it is. Like, it really is. And, then, and it. then you turn back to them and they're all like, <laughs> but they're also, but they're also like doubling in size. Like they're getting larger and eventually like, like we're not like, the amount of people, by the way. Like they're just getting taller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're just getting taller quickly. Yeah, and, and uh, <laughs> it's scary. It was, it was like we were nervous because if one person breaks this seal, then it all comes out. Because that's how, like, I I went to Times Square, which is just the worst mistake you can ever make ever. Presumably, yeah. And for a while, nobody was asking for a picture. I was like, oh, sick. 
the thing is, one person asks for a picture, then boom, everybody's there. Oh, Cutie was you know talking I mean? about this yesterday too. How she like when she walked out the first time in the courtyard, she was going around filming a vlog. Yeah. And then as soon as uh, and then she came back out later because the first time was like no problem. Mm -hmm. And then one person came up to her, and then the queue just forms. That and everybody <laughs> this wants happened, This happened to me at a uh, at Mogul Money, and they they gave me like a bodyguard. Uh, shout out Rafi, the homie. Rafi. Yeah, that guy's Rafi, awesome. Sorry. Uh, and he was following. You gave me. a was, shout out to the wrong name. No, it's just yeah, it's just bit. a pronunciation. No, there's two people. Two people. Like, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's <laughs> one's Rafi, one's one Rafi. is Riff Raff, They're and one is Rafi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, by the way, Tupac Joe killed. Uh, but uh, so he, so he's following me around, and people are like. Like kind of the same things happening. Like no one's asking one person to ask not fucking line forms or whatever. And um, uh, one at some point, our friend Ben. I don't know if you met Ben. Dover. Uh, uh, yeah, Ben Dover. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, Joe, his brother Joe. Uh, and um, what are you bringing to the table now? By the way, when he's doing this, I know he's fucking being my guy. And I'm he's, sorry. You're supposed to be doing slimes. You thing. guys are similar. <laughs> what is slimes thing? What Making fun of you. Uh, you, you. Oh, you're supposed no. to make fun of me. Yeah. yeah, yeah he says get like, mad at an influencer, like spin a wheel, and then be like. Be like, I think that their content is like devilish and bad. And then Ludwig always goes, have you watched it? And he says, no. Yeah, and then, it has to be someone you haven't watched. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So I mean, someone you you've to, never but met. you need to have a really strong opinion about this person you know nothing okay, about. Okay, I'll come up with one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All, All right. right, so you think for a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, our friend Ben, who is just like totally outside of like streamer culture, he's just one of our old Smash friends. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he gets really annoyed that people are trying to get photos with me. And at one point, he's like doing more than Rafi's doing. And he he starts getting mad at people. And, he, and some guy comes up, he's like, "Can I get a picture?" And Ben just goes, "Fuck no, fuck no, just go away." <laughs> and, and he's just telling people to fucking leave. And I'm like, "Dude, come on, like, let's fucking they're here for one day, just like let it." Out. And he's just like, "No, fuck that." <laughs> and then we. Just, My favorite thing. Uh, with, with a story similar is whenever I'm walking with Jimmy, um, Mr. Beast, if you don't know, mm. I call him Jimmy because we're, yeah, like like, well, we're like a first name thing. Um, <laughs> we'll be walking. Imagine you're not on a first yeah, name. That'd be together. really <laughs> weird. That'd Two years really in, weird. you're like, yeah, Mr. Mr. Beast. <laughs> he's like, fine. You can call me Jimmy. <laughs> Three years. Just in, Beast. Like, <laughs> uh, people walk up to him sometimes when, it, you know, like your social battery just drains, but I love his response whenever he doesn't want to take a picture. He'd be like, ah, oh, maybe later. And keep walking. <laughs> and I like the idea that he thinks that they're gonna bump into each other again. <laughs> like, this random NPC that walked by. Yeah. Like we're never gonna see that. Dude, person. if you're ever in North Carolina and also a big YouTuber in one of my videos and yeah. come into the studio, bro, we'll have such a good handshake. We'll absolutely take through, a photo. I'll even shoot a Nerf gun at you. <laughs> anyway, to but it'll be like we're getting into an elevator. The guy's getting off. He's like, "Can I get a picture?" And Jimmy will be like, "Ah, maybe later." Closes the elevator door. <laughs> and we're ever, we're never. That guy despawns them, right? the second he walks. So it stun locks them long enough that they won't be like, well, I'm not going to see like, you again. But the, yeah, like, they have to like think about it. Yeah, for the a moment second, yeah. the elevator goes up, they're like, I, this, I will never get a picture. Yeah. One, one, of, one of my core memories from when we went to North Carolina yeah. was when uh, it was kind of like how movies depict meeting celebrities. When uh, when Jimmy had the fucking Nerf gun, he's like, oh, I have this Nerf gun that hurts. And we're like, oh, that's weird and cool. And he's like, yeah, Aiden, go stand over there. I'm going to shoot you with it. <laughs> and Aiden's just over there. And he's just shooting Aiden with this gun. I'm like, this is, we're just doing what he says. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> I, was like, I did not like him with the gun. I was like, this is no. influence. Did you guys, did you guys see the like Nerf World Championship next yeah. to the show? Next door to Mogul Money. Dude. I kept was hearing, the Nerf World Championship. I kept hearing, I saw, because you could see some lights and you heard like, screams of like hundreds of people playing the game and I was like fuck I kind of want to go over I there. heard it was bring your own nerf like it oh, wasn't it, was, like it, it wasn't like just go spectate it was like bring a nerf gun oh did you participate yeah dude oh, well, it, was, yeah, it was to break a world record or something I, I took an uber to go to anime expo and I'm chatting with the uber guy and we had like a great conversation about like food places to eat whatever and then uh and then he was like yeah what were you up to yesterday and I was like yeah I had this show uh, and I was just explaining. I was like, uh, YouTube theater. Yeah. He's like, oh, the Nerf gun thing? And I was like, fuck. <laughs> there was two yeah. things happening. Dude, man, Ludwig, you had the second best show that yeah. day. At, In, uh, at SoFi, at SoFi, yeah. at SoFi yeah. Stadium, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, shout out that guy. Did they stream it? Do you know? I want to go watch I, that shit. It, <laughs> at least 155 can a video. Like, a yeah. presumably. Who was hosting that? Nerf? I think it's Nerf. Have you heard like, of Nerf's Nerf new mascot? Is it you showed like a, us? Is it didn't a bullet? You? I might have shown you. I don't. I have not seen it. It's like picture of Zipper. Suit? Zipper, can you pull this up? Zipper, let me see. Let me see. Nerf. nerf. Oh wait, we can do that. Yeah. yeah. Cool. You can ask for pretty much anything. 
It's not just like for Porn. the logo. <laughs> We've done that. We've yeah, done that, a, he has We've done done that, that. a few times. That's my stuff. It's not great. It's not great for yeah, the Can you try Carl video. Jacobs Rule 34? <laughs> Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. <laughs> Dream SMP Rule 34. That's got to be fucked. Yeah, I can imagine. A, <laughs> <laughs> don't say you can. No, you know. <laughs> no. You know that's the thing, that's the thing you don't want to know. No. You don't look up. I'm okay. Uh, yeah, I'm okay with not Look, While we wait for the Nerf mascot, I have a question. So when I, when me and Snap that play, me and Sap, Nap, not Snap I lo you know what? What a terrible name. Can we talk about that for a yes. second? Yes. Because everybody's like, oh, you misspelled Snapchat. Yeah. And also parents will say Sap Snap. <laughs> yeah. Because they're old. Or Snap Map. Mm -hmm. I hear a lot oh, of Snap, snap Map. Oh, Snap Map's like a good app. Name. Yeah. Snap Map. It's like you take a picture and it tells you where you are. It automatically oh, tells you like the best. Oh, the GeoGuessr solver. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, Snap Snap. snap that map. would be amazing. DM. It's us. Hey, wait, go. wait, wait. What, we'll uh, do like a front yard thing, dude. dude what if I, okay, what if I get in on it? <laughs> What's up? I'm not like a geoguesser guy. You could okay, be like, wait. hold on. You could be like the first guest. You know how you do banter? Oh, yeah. We have a podcast. Yeah. Uh, good bit. Okay. And that's just me and you. And then we have good front bit. yard, which is us front yard. three and Hassan. And you cut Hassan. out Aiden for one. Uh, well, yeah. no, this is like our thing. We it's like, like it's, their it's thing. It's like a quip. They do the quips, you know. You're on board of this? Yeah, that's fine. I go. I go. Like, you know why though? What if we we have a podcast and it's called One Cringe Loser, and then I leave it. <laughs> what was that? Sorry, I'm sorry. We're ignoring that. That's toxic. That's toxic. <laughs> that's toxic. <laughs> There's too much going on. He says that. He says that at the end of Mogul Money Live. At the end of the day, after party's over, we're home. It's four in the morning. I'm in bed. I'm trying to go to sleep. Who knocks at my door? Well, Woodwig Wander. Wait, this is me? Woodwig. I want to. I want to preface whatever you are about to say. I do not remember happening. Were you blacked Genuinely, out? Genuinely, I do you not. Know, remember. I'll tell you. I'll tell you without a shadow of a doubt. Ludwig was blacked out at the after. How party. can you tell that? Because you were you were fucked. You were, at the after party, he looks at me. He's like, hey, Carl, listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he do like the, it's the blackout sway. He's like, listen, I want you to know, bro. Like honestly, like I swear to God, I'm not even just saying this. I really want to hang out with you more. I'm not <laughs> no, no, you have never said that to me. And then I said, and then and then I said, I was like, dude, same man. Hey, let's get you some water and stuff, right? He goes, he goes, oh, and he gets upset, like actually mad. He goes, so you think it's just because I'm drunk that I'm saying this? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, dude, like I feel the same way. I swear to God, but let's get you some water. Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> let's hang out by the water fountain. Like that'd be super cool. Like, yeah. I'd be like, what if you do like a trick where you drink it all? After that'd be the, so sick. After the show at the bar. Uh, I, I walk up to Ludwig and I'm like, I'm like, what a great show. I go to give him a hug. And he comes in, he's like, yo, and he comes in and he gives me a hug and he starts kissing my neck. Yes, he, what? <laughs> yeah, he did that yeah. to me. He's like, he starts kissing my neck and I'm like, ah, oh, good bit, Lud. You're kissing my neck in front of you, all, you know, whatever. And then I'm like, I go to like, let go of the hug because like, he's kind of done something like that before. It's whatever. And he just keeps kissing my neck. <laughs> he, he literally kissed my neck for like, like 20 this seconds. This sound like you wrote you, a fan fiction. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you like, all right, yeah, you're kissing my neck. It's, it's great. And then later at the, the same after party, I came up and he comes up and gives me the eyes like he's gonna do it again and i, and I, and I, grab, I grab him by the I shoulders you fuck you eyes I, yes i grab him by the shoulders and i go no i'm leaving ludwig i'm going home i'll see you at home where we both live dude i know i was doing that because i remember the next day that i kept going up to connor i was like bro i just want to hang out with you more because i really see dog va yeah oh you're doing that with everybody or just me and C Dog. No. Oh. So how does it feel? No, it's just, yeah. bro, it? it's just you and C Dog for real, bro. It's just me and C Dog for real. I'm just kidding. C Dog's really cool. I want to say though, you I, and thought, I love you, slut. I, I, well, I switch, oh, no. and I'm happy with this because I used to be an angry drunk. Yep. I, 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 in college, really? I was an angry yeah. drunk. Oh, yeah. Yes. Not what, a, that, what does that mean? Like, give it an post college it, for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but like 20, 22, 23, it was like I would get drunk and then I would like want to fight. <laughs> and we would this this podcast is called the yard because of me the only one in this entire group who would get drunk and then I would find someone and be like let's fight in the yard or he someone would, find me and we fight yeah, in the yard the, the going, friend, going to the yard meant let's fight the friend really? ben, yeah. yeah the friend ben who didn't want people to take photos with nick earlier him and Ludwig <laughs> would just fight, fight a lot. Yeah, really. You're usually, yeah. usually over Mario Party Four. So like for for a very long stint of time, we were taking Mario Party Four extremely seriously, and we had static teams. We played two v two, and uh, we we our, one of our first attempts at having like a big YouTube content was a show called Mario Party League, where you basically drink. That sounds like CTR is like. 
banging. <laughs> yeah. No, it's huge because then the thumbnail is like it's the game, but then all four of our faces. Yeah. And we're not big YouTubers, so people are interested in clicking it. So for a thumbnail, you want to try to get as Zipper, many bring points up the of interest bring up the thumbnail as possible. From Party League. And then it's, there's also alcohol in the thumbnail because we thought that'd be like, dude, that's really good too. Jaka, that's really good too. Right? Wait, did we end up seeing the Nerf? Guy okay, no. Sometimes if the conversation just moves forward, maybe he didn't find it. Wait, he's got first of all the Nerf thing. First of all the Nerf thing. Let's cover our bases here. This oh, is, they're dabbing. That's cool. Oh, as fuck. this is the actual event. Yeah, this is. Wait, what? That, that, that perfect. perfect. Oh, we what? made dude perfect. We made dude perfect for him. I'm gonna fucking kill you. Why is it? Why would you fault? double book and over Fortnite dude perfect? I. We had an episode where Bro, I asked Percy. if we could all go to the Dude Perfect festival they're doing because I want to go so My, bad. Dude, I love when they flip a bottle as the song goes. We could be heroes. <laughs> do you want to go to their to their uh, their Done. con? Let's Done. do it. 100%. Pull up Mario oh, Party League con. thumbnail. Yeah, Dude Perfect con. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Say, so I, saying Dude Perfect after literally anything. Anyway, we'd fight a lot, <laughs> and it, it was like it was usually over something like petty. It was yeah, not like now very, Mario Party League very aggressive, but it was like it was still angry. Like you're still fighting. Uh, and then I pivoted at some point to just oh at some point when I got rich and famous no it was before that I, I actually yeah. it was before that yeah because I never experienced angry drunk Ludwig and I was not oh, rich and okay. famous when I knew Aiden it's true I you was were, yeah. streaming for like 200 viewers I guess you're right but I just I made a conscious decision I stopped drinking for like a few months and then when I came back I became a, a loving drunk really which has its own <laughs> set of problems yeah because I have a girlfriend and I get too frisky with no, some of the fellas that's two that's two Go to one. Yeah, okay, there it is. There it is. Yeah, what do you think? Mario Party League. Wow. <laughs> Talk about that, click, baby. Click in. Just click around really quick. Yeah, so this was... <laughs> oh, no. The, yeah. This, so, was, this is all time, baby. This is uh, I unironically one of the best shows on YouTube. So it's shirts for skins, Um, but as a power <laughs> okay, play. that's funny. As a power play, <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. everyone takes their shirt off because you don't want to be the, the, the shirted team. Uh, But we still say shirts for skins. Uh, I main Waluigi. That's Ben on the right. He was Waluigi's the, uh, your man? Yeah. Well, That's my man. Well, here's the thing. What's Look how up, buff up I am, bro. Can you go back to the full yes, screen? Yes, sir. So the thing is, I played Yoshi, yeah. but there was this rule that uh, what is he just, the best player okay. gets their character. Oh, okay. And Ben at the time when we started playing was better than me. So he got my Yoshi and I had to switch. But then I got better than Ben and I solidified Waluigi. I always think Luigi Good. Waluigi's better. I think you're right. I wish Mario Party 4, if I could take one thing away from another Mario Party and put it into Mario Party 4. Uh, Mario Party Dude, 4 look, I'm tight. I wish it was team names. Yeah. Team in Mario name. Party 6, any two characters have a unique team name. It'll, yeah. It'll be I like, didn't even remember that. That's if you get like Boo and Bowser, it'll be like Scary Duo. Yeah. I think, I cool. think Mario Luigi is best buds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So they all got cute little names. And like every that. character is different. There's no two of the same. What's like, is there like a Waluigi Luigi one? Yeah. What's all it of them. I don't, uh, fucking. Oh, I'll, fucking? I, can, I can find this. Yeah, you just find chat it. Chat up, chat yeah, it up. Yeah, I got it. it. Uh, so <laughs> I will say I felt bad because I, I did get pissed drunk after the show, which I, you know, that's the best time to get pissed drunk. Uh, is after a great night of of great last. Doesn't better than before the show. I actually didn't drink much before. Yeah, I, I took the I took one clam shot as like a group thing. Yeah. Faded Which rivals. Is, Faded rivals. That's yeah. tight. That's cool. I stole it from Germa because when we did the dollhouse, he does this really nice thing where he gathers everyone who's a part of it. They all have like the little shot of vodka, and it's just like a toast. It's not like to get drunk. It's yeah. just. So I did that with every one of the contestants, which didn't go as well because they're all streamers. With like, the contestants, you said. Yeah. Oh. For some reason, I was... Okay, yeah, go on. You thought fans? Yeah, I don't know why I thought you said When fans. you said contestants, the he, first thing I heard was fans, too. He did yeah, a okay. shot with every group know. of VIPs that he did the And any age, with. too. That's the thing about it, because it was, like, behind closed doors. It didn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and then uh, and then after the shows, when I started drinking, but I realized after the show that you have to pay. Oh, for the liquor, yeah. I didn't realize that. Oh, I yeah. Thought, Bloody comes up to me mid-show. Okay, he, he made me out to feel stupid for this but i thought it was a bad question he comes up to me he goes really casually yo you have a business card i what does that mean when, when someone asks you, you have a business card um i don't like a company card that's exactly wait wait you, yeah. oh you thought company card okay well without the context of spending money oh. i thought he meant like a business card for who i am okay or like oh. or like mobile moves or like that. if he had asked me that i would have also okay so i didn't i didn't get that card. so i was like uh i have a website there's like a lot of people there who like <laughs> yeah dude i said okay, bro, you okay got maybe, I up, maybe i am up. he goes i got a website i'm like what are we gonna do with that barter <laughs> I, there's a lot of people there. the url yeah look look i i i direct stuff there's a lot of people there i thought who maybe were talking to him about who shot this or who did that who did the ice cream video whatever and i was like i don't have a business card by a website nobody he was like, wants your contact <laughs> bro nobody <laughs> Yo, I loved your ice cream video. Who shot that? Will I this love kill to me if I hit my head on it really hard? <laughs> I, we can find out. Yeah. Maybe a corner. Yeah, it's the one year. Sick. Let's find out, baby. That'd be sick. Anyway, he was he looked panicked. I, he was like, I didn't realize that I'm paying for all the liquor yeah, that people I, are drinking. Well, no, I'm not paying for it. I just had to pay for what I bought. And what I realized yesterday is we went out to dinner with Mizkiff, 
And Miz like, uh, but we were all talking about who pay, he's paying for dinner. I'm like, Miz, you've done a steak sponsorship. You fucking take it. And we're all making jokes like that. And then Miz is like, I paid $600 in, in, in alcohol yesterday at your event. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize I was making all the influencers backstage just buy super overpriced yeah. alcohol. Yeah. Like $19. I, learned, I, I had the same, I had the same problem because when I was going backstage from like the front of the theater, Nick Allen gave me the wristband to get into like the green room mm. and go, uh, go order stuff at the bar. And he's like, here, go get drunk. Like, go have a good time. I'm like, oh, that's cool. There's a bar tab. And I go in, I order something right away. And the guy's like, okay, I'll ring you up. And it's a twenty dollar cocktail, and I'm like, I thought the whole point of the wristband is that I don't pay for fucking anything. <laughs> the same thing happened to me, except I went up to the bar with Austin, Austin show, and it's like that makes it clearer. <laughs> the show uh, part, lover host. It, it, yeah, it, it is funny. It is funny to say Austin and have someone out there be like, who? Austin, and then you go who? Austin oh, show, and you're no. like, oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Mr. Show, Mr. Show, Mr. Show himself. So we go up, and I'm like, oh, is it like an open bar? I swear to God, and he was like, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll get two vodka cranberries or something, which is the go-to. Right. Um, and we both grab him. He walks away quick. Austin? Austin. Yeah. Walks away quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And dude taps my shoulder and he's like, oh, cash your card. And I'm like, whoa. He's like, <laughs> I'm starting to think Austin knew. <laughs> Bro, I just said the bar's open. <laughs> yeah. He's Austin, like, it's open Austin? for business, maybe. He's been hurting lately. He's yeah. been tough. Look, yeah. I love Austin to death. He's the greatest nickel and dimer there is in the streaming space. He's so good. With he'll, he'll call Hyatt for a $5 voucher for Marriott. laundry. Sometimes Marriott. it pays, though. When, like when he got Cutie's phone back. Yeah, yeah. He is a god just, at going through customer service odyssey lines. Just an to get a phone back. I'm pretty sure he talks to customer service lines more than like his parents on the phone. What were you saying? What were you saying, Carl? Yeah. So I was talking about how there seems to be this problem where I I have bought underwear over the years mm -hmm. and they slowly disappear, but I find them in in your laundry pile. Oh, you've been, it, you've, you've, been been, you've been taking it. You've been taking my Carl Jacobs dick pants. underwear no, no, well, when you visit North Carolina. I, yeah, I take like a couple, which for, is irritating because I have to keep buying new underwear. But I mean, is there like a place you can buy? Them also, for but, well, buying the underwear is actually fucking annoying because when I buy underwear, I gotta go fucking like Target or whatever, and I go. I have to, every time fucking time I lose underwear, I have to go and just buy like a pack, and I know I'm gonna fucking lose it every fucking time. But is there a place that you buy, buy comfy underwear, yeah, Carl? Yeah, I've started buying, me, Carl Jacobs, I have started uh -huh. buying underwear Where you, at Me Undies wh wh online. You can buy your underwear online. It's true, yeah, and you don't have to go anywhere. They just ship uh, it to you. Me, Carl Jacobs, I'm living my <laughs> comfiest life. You could live your comfiest life in Me Undies underwear. Carl, what about socks, <laughs> bralettes, and loungewear? <laughs> you, can't, you can't just do the whole thing like this. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, fine. Hey, Carl, hey, Carl Jacobs, what <laughs> items do they have for us at MeUndies.com? Well, well, I, Carl Jacobs, usually buy the bralettes and, and maybe <laughs> maybe the loungewear, because, but also but also the socks, the undies. You know, I. <laughs> yeah, I, I, look, they sent us underwear. They have very quickly become my daily drivers. I feel very empowered and sexy when I wear them. That's cool, but, Carl. I wouldn't <laughs> get it unless it was like I don't know, like fifteen or twenty percent off. Is there like a? Well, yeah, you know, you know yeah. what's crazy? If you do the monthly subscription because they have a membership, uh -huh. it's 30% off. That's the thing. You, you're looking for 15. What if I doubled that? Me, Carl Jacobs, doubling that so offer So if you're Carl you. Jacobs, right, and you always skid mark your undies, you always get that long that long. I, because I'm mark. young and I play Minecraft and I poopy in my pants yeah, and, I, and I poopy in my pants oh. all the time. MeUndies.com forward slash the yard. MeUndies.com yeah. so, uh, They gave us a discount code. MeUndies.com forward slash the yard for 15% off. Uh, the shit's unironically comfortable, not because they're paying us. I actually believe that. That, uh, but they are paying us. We need. But they are paying us. They, they, they do pay clear. us, but they are comfortable, and that's the beauty because it, we get something out of it. Yeah. So, Except uh, for Carl, who is an unbiased third party who is not paid to say any yeah, of this. So if you want I, your balls Carl cradled or your girl balls cradled, either way, uh, meundies.com forward slash the yard, and that back to the show. I've never met more of a Karen than Austin. Yes, I really do mean that. I've never Agreed. been on a trip and him not called management for something. If like the internet's not working, he'll be like, ah. and it's like, bro, you have data. He's like, no, like I should just have it though. He's like, yeah. and, he, and then and then he'll call him. He's like, I know you'll do something right about this. Like that's how he <laughs> phrases it. Like a like a and Russian then, all that's so yeah, yeah. funny. It feels like, like a mafia. If, like if you don't fix the hotel Wi-Fi, we're gonna take you out. And back. then I'm gonna I'm putting him on blast because it's funny. Uh, they were like, oh, you know, like we can take like fifty bucks off or something. He goes. <laughs> he's, he's like I think I I think I've gone through a lot I think I deserve a night off 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. What and a, you know what? what they, gave what dude, they gave it to him. Dude. They gave it to him. Dude. I was like, wow. We need a word. Big. He's so... Because there's like Karen customer service, Austin. And then there's like the kindest friend, yeah. like person you've ever met, Austin. And then there's Austin the pilot who plays Microsoft Flight Sim. <laughs> yeah. That's Hoscord. Not yeah, Austin. that is Hoscord. Oh. He, I, I will say <laughs> we need a word for a male Karen. Because like he, he gets away with it. Yeah. Oh, Ludwig. What? We call yeah, nobody, Ludwig nobody's again. making what we, a secret video okay. of, of him doing it, you know? Right, I will yeah. say, I mean, I'm calling him a Karen. That hotel room that we were talking about where he got a night off, the AC was broken for the first two days of him oh, being there. Yeah. Hey, so fair. if we're being f like... That's, I mean, hey. That's, that's that, probably To fair. me, that's a night off. That's not that's 50 a night bucks. Off. I feel like that's 30 bucks, bro. I, I just like, feel like I'm closer to Disguised Toast. He sent out a tweet. He was like, in an Uber and there's a cockroach calling on me, but I'm uh, crawling on me, but I'm too socially anxious to say anything. <laughs> Insane, by the way. And Austin is like, Austin's like, get out, refund me, call an Uber black for free right now. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> You call an Uber black for me. Now. Yeah. Like the driver had to <laughs> yeah. do it. Yeah. And then take the Uber with me. Yeah. <laughs> and then also go to the app. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> well, I had something, I had something to say. Uh, I was going to say, though. So I, I'm glad that I made all the rich influencers pay for their own drinks because I found out after the show, I talked to Nick Allen. Guess how much in total we lost. Do you know the number? Oh, yeah. Lost or spent on alcohol? On lost the event. On the event. I know. Yeah. Do you know it? No. Okay. You want to guess? Yeah, get, take a guess. How much we lost in total on the event? Um, it did great in views. We had one sponsor, HyperX, and then I'll we guess had last. 5K. I think you know. I think I said it. So yesterday. you say lost. Are you saying that like? <laughs> I just want to get it right. You're saying like like we had we made money off. It was of not a profitable event as a whole. Okay. Okay. But you're 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 counting uh, our revenue in yes. that number. Okay. Yeah, including merch. I think we lost 250K. Look, that would be fucking terrifying. Carl, uh, one quick guess? Like uh, 150K. Is we'll edit it in. What? Did he bank 150, that? Yeah, yeah, he banked it, baby. I banked that. That's the go. That's me. So, you know. We I, need to fix that. I feel like we both. One more time. Well, here's the thing. Like a You're doing this thing, right? Look, like, that means like this. Look, that means this? lock this. But last I'm time I did that, last time I did that, you didn't grab back. But look, you didn't grab back. One of these, okay. And then leave the finger out. Yeah. Pew. Yeah. I hate this part. I just go to this part. Well, me and you have a handshake. Yeah. So it solves all that. You're doing slime stuff now. Good bit over there. Yo, can I see this again? Sure. Bro, you got soft hands. What? Shit, you have soft <laughs> hands. God damn, you got you <laughs> got to check those out. Do you like my hands? Soft, they soft as I think your hands are great. I think you have great hands. Yeah, uh, and I think you wear uh, rings and they're cool. <laughs> what? I have a fun story. Go, I love it. Uh, do you ever cut things out? Of yeah, 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 of yeah. course. Okay, so if it's too far, then you can cut it. Yeah, out. please. I don't know if it is. Go for it. Um, I forget which which creator walks up to me, and they and they ask, oh, like, is your tattoo? For like mental health awareness because it's like apparently you get a colon tattoo yeah for mental health awareness really it's, and a, sem I it's a semicolon because like, semi i have a, i have a colon right here oh and i felt like such a bad person because i got this tattoo literally just to do like the face thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's it like, that's literally it <laughs> And I didn't know. <laughs> like, can I you, felt like can you point it at that top camera right there? Can, can, is that good? Yeah, you can just talk and you can use the hand. Can is you, that your point? <laughs> can you imagine? You get the semicolon. You're like, yeah, it's for mental health awareness, but it's also to make him wink. So, <laughs> so I felt like such. A, they were like, wow, that's really you got it. Like they just assumed I did. And they were like, oh, you got like a tattoo for mental health awareness. And I ha had to break it to them that I'm just a man child. <laughs> they got a tattoo of a face on my hand. No, that's pretty. That's base. I've wanted the mustache on my finger for a long yeah. time, dude. That'd like be tight. Yeah, I actually do. Yeah. I actually back. do a puppet shows for myself at home. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting a second one, doing some RP. Yeah, yeah. I got a ribbon. I just really like the shape. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no specific color. I'm just <laughs> I love ribbons. <laughs> dude, you know what we came up uh, with yesterday at the after party was um, uh, a tattoo that says "fuck cops," but the F is the phase logo. Whoa! How sick is that? That's a graphic tee. Yeah, that you guys should that? sell. No, I had that idea. Oh, that's I, amazing! I was in a group of people where we were talking about like funny tattoos, and yeah. I was like, "Fuck cops!" F is the phase logo. That's amazing. And also, not just the phase logo, but the fingers. <laughs> like someone doing the phase. You up. Could, wait, okay, maybe too far, but you could do stacked big F and then fuck cops. Ditch the C as well. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, the phase, the, plan. the phase logo is an F and a C. Dude, we're actually. I'll go after this right now, and I'll get it. Can you get a graphic? Actually, tea? if you pay for it. <laughs> if you pay, for, yes, yeah, I'll do yes, it. I'll, ma I'll, I'll split it with him. I swear to God, I'll split it with him. Will you get something with me? No. <laughs> I'm, Fuck that, I'm bro. not weird. I'm not. Wait, wait, I'm not <laughs> splitting it with you. You're splitting with him. Yeah, I'm splitting. I'm not paying for anything. I'm splitting the payment. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get a fuck up set, dude. Just splitting the with, forty dollars. Like, yeah. Okay, dude, you're gonna go down the Hassan path. What's that? We're losing all our all right viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, 
That's that's tight as fuck. Okay, you guys need to explain <laughs> no, something. We to need me. them. We need the all right viewers. Yeah, tweet right. that. Wait, hold on. Okay. I, got, I got you. I got you. I kind of Yo, Jordan Peterson. Like, I feel like he gets a lot of flack, but like sometimes he's kind of like spitting. Yeah, because like you know? he does spit. Probably. Like he just says like what he would jerk off to, and I think that's. But like tight. people don't listen to like the psychological <laughs> aspect of stuff. Yeah, like that. You should say things that don't aren't necessarily positive, but like. Sound like to the right person they are positive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. What just happened? He's dying. <laughs> I feel like I missed He's it. He's dying. Because Jordan Peterson. Because <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's for Dude, Aiden. Like the more I think about it, it applies to every single Jordan Peterson. Situation. That's for Aiden, baby. I keep that one for him. He. You know, I, oh, I, I, just I roasted us, him for tweeting that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You definitely. I, did. I clowned him. You definitely ratioed him for this. I'm pretty I sure. I did. I did <laughs> ratio him. Picture, I forgot. Picturing the Elliot Page thing was like, I I used to be able to jerk off guilt free. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be a straight man. <laughs> now I have to think about it. Now, and I and I hate that I'm still attracted now, to now him. Now all my homies are saying I'm not. I lay in bed still hard, but I'm wondering why. <laughs> I hate Justin Trudeau and, and why don't they put women why don't they put skinny women on magazines anymore it's, it's Jordan Peterson but he's like fellas is it gay to have seen Juno now <laughs> oh my God. I love that yeah he's yeah, a clown that's good shit yeah. I love that yeah he's a clown it's so fun to be able to dumpster somebody like him because it feels so easy he is the, like j the easiest heel of all time yeah it's like him and like Ben Shapiro yeah they're like cartoonish villains they are cartoon villains like they <laughs> like like twistling mustache yeah. kind of guy and everything is like a gotcha like yeah. they have solved the formula yeah. and it's like you can learn it right oh here oh my god you know who's going down that fucking path is Greek God X bro Okay. He's, he's going down that path. That's yeah, a different direction. That's a different direction. Yeah, he's kind of dumb. Go. He's got a dumbass pill right now. I, I'm gonna say, <laughs> I, it's it's genuinely kind of sad to see that. I, yeah, <clears throat> but it, no, what's sad is that it's working. It is. What yeah. do you mean? Like people I mean, are, people he's are like, up like, in viewership on Twitch oh, from I when see. he started acting like a dumbass because I think it's like before he wasn't appealing to anyone. He was just like a blob in the void. Yeah. But now it's like some like and now, drama Andy. Yeah, now it's like drama Andy or just like fucking. All right, Randy's. It's not even like topical discussions. He's like, he's like, I, I think uh, women should have to wear uh, armor and and mm -hmm. mesh, and I think they should be in the kitchen. And I think he's like, it's like seventeen hundreds arguments he's <laughs> <Yeah>. making. <laughs> he's like, sorry, I just want a woman to cook and clean for me. And if ladies, you don't like that, then don't date me. <laughs> and ladies are like, we won't. He's like, fuck. <laughs> I don't think women should have charged crystals and yeah. be able to power up like they do. <laughs> I don't think they should be able to float on command. <laughs> I'm against that. I think that's dumb. They should be on ground like us. Boots on, boots on ground gameplay. Fair enough. <laughs> Simple request. Advanced warfare. Women call shouldn't duty. have aim assist. <laughs> <laughs> Only men can I have aim assist. Like that, I just didn't like that year where women were running on walls really fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just he's, really just, he's just misremembering <laughs> Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. There was that. There was that couple years where all the female streamers were on MLG TV. <laughs> 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 and I'm sick and tired of women, men not being as good as allowed, me. They shouldn't be allowed to have one man army and grenade launcher. <laughs> when you give it to women, it's too powerful of a combo. I don't so, like that you can have hardline and scavenger <laughs> pro as a woman. They get to nuke too. They get to nuke too. It's literally too many nades. You can put down three, you can put down two claymores. And then one will randomly explode. Stopping power is too much. <laughs> Damn! Remember when? Remember when? Uh, in, when Infinity Ward was like, "All right, guys, Commando Pro won't be in the next game," and everyone clapped. And I'm like, they're just removing a bad feature. Yeah. <laughs> Why are everyone so happy? That is such horseshit. That's actually sick, though. You just put in one dog shit thing in your game because you're gonna release it next year anyway. Yeah. Then yeah. you remove it. You don't have to add features. That's yeah. a, dude, yeah. that was like that was like the last MacBook Pro announcement where Apple was like, "We're gonna put ports back on." Yeah. It. And everybody was like. It's also crazy because they've done it again. <laughs> Apple's I cannot play, believe Apple, it. Apple's, Apple's playing this long design. game. It's just the design over Apple's there. like making you buy all these attachments and then they're just making them all obsolete again. <laughs> they're just like, yo, we actually brought back the fucking. Uh, <laughs> so you know that. We brought 50, back display cables. You know the fifty dollar SD card reader you bought from us? <laughs> yeah, you just don't need it anymore. You <laughs> but, but keep it, dude. Because we'll probably go around it. next year. We'll probably go back. Yeah, next we'll year probably we'll go back. We're probably so close to Apple SD cards. Oh, where you need Apple SD that's cards. That's big. It's like in, uh, I'm the only person that owned a PS Vita, a PlayStation Vita, mm, but yeah. they had proprietary memory yeah, cards. One day, the only colors oh. that are gonna matter like are a game blue cube. and green text. For real, bro. <laughs> Ten years later, they Who literally had that? proprietary. They're talking. Memory so cards for the PS Vita. 
Really? It's terrible. What? And, and you, you had to buy them to be able to play Wait, no, games. I think the same... Oh, no, it wasn't. It was like a really weird one on the PSP. It was yeah, like when a, you guys were kids, you ever like think that the memory card looked kind of like a like a snack and you try to eat it? No. I, I don't think... Yeah, it was because I was like, oh, well, this dude, is obviously oh, not this a, is a memory card. a piece card. of plastic. You, you know, know what's thing. crazy? So, we're, I don't... So at Carl's house, he had a finish? GameCube, okay. and uh, I pulled the memory card out because I just wanted to look at it, and it yeah. uh, it had never been removed from the GameCube. Yeah, oh. the the part that was sticking out had like the yellowing that plastic has when it like hits oxygen, and then the inside was perfect, like you just bought it. I they was call like, it the Whoa. Mormon memory stick. They call it the, <laughs> yeah, it's called the soaked card. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It makes all your chows angels in the game. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> Put it in, never take it out. <laughs> Come on, you're married. And... Come on, that was good. No, that was, hey, can we that get was there. Really good. That was, that was good. good. Do you have a strong opinion yet? <clears throat> uh, fucking, I hate. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Scara. Hey. Yo. Yo. Who is Scara? Wow. Wow. Okay. I mean, just yeah, my I'm favorite confused. member of OTV. He's top eight. So he used and o to be. OTV is like, the, like that <laughs> music channel. He was uh, a really like prominent and good uh, NA LCS player in oh, league. Sick. So he was a pro for like a really Dignitas, long time. Question mark. Something like that. Dig. He, he was the mid for Dignitas for, yeah. for fucking ages. And he was on like the most beloved <clears throat> Dignitas team. So like he was a part of a roster I that see. like just everybody. I, so hood legend. Loved. And I yeah. re-rank my favorite Dignitas teams. He's always number one. And he, he always stays there. Mm -hmm. He <laughs> also <laughs> in my OTV. list, in my Dignitas oh, era tier re list, which he, I've made. Yeah. <laughs> it is weird to think that I think a lot of people, it's lost on them that he's like the founder of OTV. Cause like you I think, didn't know that. You think of like Pokey or like, you know, I feel like it was his, maybe I'm fucking wrong about this. I'm getting gaslit because you guys are so, you know this, Founder right? Founder of OTV, I have to go uh, probably Saikuno, Valkyrie, okay, right. and Corpse. Do you like her? Do you like, what do you think of that happens? Because that happened to Tina yesterday. Yeah, uh, it's funny. Is the joke that none of them are OTV? Yeah, yeah it's like, yeah, it, yeah. chat yeah. does it all the time. It's be like, oh, you play with OTV all the it'll time. It'll be like OTV plus friends <laughs> lobby and it'll just like maybe Toast is there. There you go. There we go. There we go. I was right. And Pokey. For the, and for the Pokey. audio listeners, uh, Ludwig Ludwig took out his wiener and started spinning it in a circle. There you go. <laughs> and then we said, and then our obvious response is, there you go. There you go. There, you go. <laughs> there it is. Uh, yeah, everybody <laughs> gets snaps. lumped in with OTV, even though they're not OTV. And so, like, yesterday at Anime Expo, we're with Tina, and Tina is, like, not an OTV. And is probably closer to like Dream S P Minecraft than OTV, and also part of 100 Thieves. And then someone took a picture of her. I was like, I love OTV. <laughs> I <laughs> love. What I you do. thought Tina was in OTV until yesterday. Do you name who's in OTV right now. Uh, Everyone you think is in it. Oh, uh, okay. Quar Quarter Jade. Um, keep okay. Rob, Masayoshi. Rob Yoshi. Yeah. Uh, no, no, come Chanel on. West Coast. That's, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, keep going. You're doing great. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> uh, Toast. Uh huh. Yeah. Scara. Lock yeah. it in. Pokemane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> You're missing two pretty essential am I, ones. Am I missing, missing two people missing right couple. now? Yeah, missing oh, a couple. Oh, Lily? Yeah. yeah. And Michael Reeves. Uh -huh. yeah. One more. Keep it going. Well, I'm missing somebody yeah. still? 100%. Yes. They're, they're new to the org, to be fair. Or I don't know if they're an org, whatever it is. Did he say it? Oh, no, is it Sidion? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Is that everybody? I think you got it. I think so. I think it's unless, bar for unless, bar. Can we make sure that's all? That's crazy. Actually, I thought you were going to get it wrong and I was going to make fun of you, but then you just became like a nerd. Yeah, I would have. So. I would have said. Like, uh, was actually kind of lame. I would have said <laughs> Tina. <laughs> way cool. If, if, if Ryan was here, you could have said like the roster of Real Madrid, and he wouldn't have known yeah. the difference. Yeah, he wouldn't no, know any of the It's a, a fucking. It's Messi, Mbappe, <laughs> slime on God. Said who's Messi? He's never heard of Lionel Messi. The best soccer is, player of all time. I know. He just said that. We need to explain to him who Ronaldo was. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What does yeah. he know? Does uh, he know things also? Dark uh, Souls lore. Literature writers. Literature really? writers, yeah. uh, comedians. Uh, sitcoms, comedians. Okay. Uh, like really, well, like the best graphics card or processor on the market yeah, right now. Yeah, Linus Tech Tip videos, how uh -huh. not to Full bust to a hand job. He yeah. knows. He um, knows so much about what he knows about. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That's how deep yeah. in it. Deep. But when he 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 like really shuts himself off from a lot. That's how J Jimmy is. Oh like my that. god! I have yes. slimes out here. I have to tell this fucking story. Okay. okay. So we have a Discord that's like all of our like closest friends, like one day we don't you know we don't expand on it, just like our closest friends we had for a really yeah, long time. Yeah, I love that one. And um, and yeah. So you're in it, right? Yeah. So uh, oh, we sent you an invite. We sent him an invite. Yeah, but it was. Did oh, it expire? It must. It's you got expired. it. You, you not join? You should, I'll resend yeah. it to you. I'll resend yeah. it to you yeah. later after this. So wait, all close, just close friends. Which Discord is it? So, Dude, so yeah, we're in the Discord and uh, and someone posts a, a tweet that said like so, the, it was something like like. Like shoddy's ass so big, like I be giving back shots, and there it sounds like gang violence, something like that. And uh, and I was like, funny tweet. Mm -hmm. And and slime posted, or slime, someone posted, it and slime's like, I don't get it. 
and we're like, haha, here's a good, that's funny, because it's like, you know, the implication is like, he oh, doesn't you, know how to clap. You, yeah, he doesn't know how to make it clap, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and so everyone's roasting slime. And yeah. then at some point he goes, wait, I don't get it. What are back shots? And he's just never heard, the, on his 32 years on earth, he's never heard the term back shots. And everyone, everyone in the Discord's roasting him now. And then he asked the question, wait, but why would it clap? <laughs> 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 he dude, dug, dude, he just it, kept digging the it's, hole. It's literally his biggest L of all time. Every yeah. single, and then Dawson, who literally hasn't talked to Discord for like a month, comes in and he's like, "I had to take an internet break after reading Slime." Say, "Why Wait, would wouldn't it, it just be one gunshot?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, I it's love like a bolt action. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Nerf gun. Uh, yeah, I love that Slime's not here to defend himself. That's tight. Yeah, that's that's awesome. the best. Fucking roll. But it was really fucking you love funny. Him a bit, though. Did we say why he's not here? Uh, yeah, oh, Slime is COVID. Yeah. What an L. That's why he wasn't at Mobile yeah. Money Live either. <laughs> Hour and 10 minutes in. <laughs> By the way, that's why Slime's not here. What time did you go to bed last night? Um, Probably like 1 30, 2, 2 a.m. Lud said you go to bed at 4. Me? Yeah. I d I've been going to sleep almost none. I've also, <laughs> here's, my, here's my new issue that I'm coming across. I don't like take care of my body or myself at all. At all. Um, my new thing is my mouth will start randomly bleeding now. Wait, like, like and, wait, hold on, the outside or inside? Inside <laughs> of my mouth. We'll yeah, just start that's bleeding. A, Do you see blood or you taste blood? No, I see blood. That's also. what happens in horror games. Yeah. When you look in a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> that shouldn't happen. So I'll wake up and just have blood in my mouth. Yeah. That's terrifying. No, just, I'm sure if like you drink some more Coke, it'll round Probably it out. Probably the Coke, right? Dude, yeah. do you like want attention? Is that like why you're telling us that? Like, well, I was hoping one of you guys were going to be like, go to the dentist. Dude, go to the dentist. Going to the dentist? Hey, I'm bleeding internally. When is the last time you went to the dentist? What's up? Actually, <laughs> for, like, for me, it's been seven years. Yeah, I think it's it's been since I started college. I'm going this Three week. Three or four years, probably. I set an appointment. I'm going to the I'm dentist. Going this week. I'm really? Going this week. Yeah, yeah. I'm going Heck to yeah. dentist and doctor. I'm getting a physical and my teeth. My dentist, out. my dentist keep texting me because I went recently. I, my first time going <laughs> in so my many years. Won't yo, leave yo, me alone. Yo, my dentist won't literally, also really, literally she, she's really hot and she like won't stop. She's like, she's like she goes to a different school, she's like, but she's it's like, like yeah. she's got like big, big jugs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I go to the, one of those dentists where they, they, after they're done, they give you a sucker and a hand job. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> that's why. Yeah, sucker. <laughs> Happy ending smiles. Uh -huh. I hardly know her. Uh, dude, that's it. He's ready for the pod. Do we need slime? Nah. I'm, I'm starting to realize the longer no, Carl's here. We just had two of you right now. That's the problem. That's we the best part. Yeah, <laughs> that's why like, he's Nick's eating like, it up. Yay. <laughs> Uh, uh, I'd like to think of it as two of me. But they stopped sending me automated <laughs> text messages that are like, you have, like, you're a past appointment. And they started sending me text messages that clearly a human is writing. Mm -hmm. Like, lowercase first letter, like, hey, you're supposed to come back in. Are you coming? I'm so fucking sad. Where are you? <laughs> hey, what did you think of the new I went, I, went in, I went in for the right half of my mouse, like, cleaning, and I never went for the left. You get a text at, like, 1 a.m. was like, was thinking about your teeth last night. <laughs> <laughs> it was so shit. I don't want to go back. I hate the fucking dentist. It is so Wait, shit. you cleaned half of your mouth? So, like, so like when they do, like, did a deep cleaning, out? they numb your mouth so they can't do the whole thing because there's like a law in california they can't numb your whole Wait, mouth at i've once. never done that ever in my life what do you mean i've never numbed my mouth and it's, then for a deep cleaning they do that what the fuck is a deep is this like they a go tissue like massage? under your fucking gums and shit why do they do all that under the gums yeah, yeah so, so it I'm, hurts. So I'm did it too it sucks why and i hate it so much that i was like i don't even want to go back for the second half fuck it i got a dirty really? half yeah really? I got, kids I, I got the devil and the angel in me. Yeah, you're gonna be a Batman <laughs> villain Dog. in like six you have a months. Devil inside yeah, in I'm like, it's like Sonic Adventure 2. I have like hero and I have dark mode. Sure. Yeah. 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 The, the left side of your mouth was thrown at a wall too much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now your child's real, for real, for real. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going. I've been flossing in the lead up. I, dude, I'm, I'm saying no. that'll turn you, it around. Every time you're no, no. and you like just floss, they're like, you know, <laughs> they're like, you don't gotta do that shit for me. They're not gonna know. They're not gonna. I'm gonna get away with it. That's fucked. I had to. Dude, you're fucking. You're, <laughs> you're a brain rot. Yeah, that's what I was literally. <laughs> he does have brain rot. Of course, he has brain rot. Yeah. Uh, what? I, earlier, when I said I, when I met Snapchat, He's I had a question. I just said Snapchat again, by the way. Dude. That's why I never got to ask the question. We just we just talked about that. Sorry. Uh, so after we played, I go to my Twitter, and my Twitter is just fucking blasted with people who are just posting like photos of like sap nap, like oh snap nap, sap nap meeting like. Ludwig and friends and then it was just like pictures of snap It was like a, a thread of like a hundred pictures of him and they were all just very slightly different faces of him like turning his head around and stuff mm. And I was like this is actually fucking crazy And this is like kind of your life too where like you go on Twitter and I imagine it's just like a bombardment of just like 
fans, a lot of them who are young. It's who, so terrible, man. How do you? What is your internal? <laughs> They're all like, what is your internal about dialogue about like seeing that kind of like fan cams and like seeing all that shit? Because we don't really get a lot of that stuff. Um, I feel like this is back to what we were talking about. Mm -hmm. I feel like I just like am disconnected as a human from everything ever. And um, like the same thing from the insults as the compliments. Like I don't really think. To, I yeah, mean, I, I appreciate so it genuinely. I do appreciate when people are nice to me on the internet. Obviously, yeah. But it's like hard to actually connect with it. If I don't think is you there, look is, at it and appreciate it, and I also don't think you would look at it and be like, oh, I think you just be. Like, is there it a line? Is there a line for you where it does make you feel more negative than neutral? Like, is there like that things that people commonly do? No, I don't think I. I well, for you, I feel like it must be so saturated that it's actually it's hard to have any opinion about it at all so i used to get more hate than i do now i think i used to get a lot more with like oh i have a fun story here it is and i'm gonna say it and i don't care yo okay i really don't care <laughs> and we're, we're on filter yo, i do not on, care wait and he's gonna crush yo, so let's say a few things about abortion uh, welcome, listen, to the, if, welcome to the if, flagrant three podcast <laughs> if it's up to me you can keep this in if you don't want to understood hey Somebody that rubbed me the wrong way since I met them was Call Me Carson. Sheesh. Yo. <laughs> From the beginning of meeting him. Mm. And he was the person that started the Carl Ruin Mr. Be Beast trend. Yeah, he did do that. He started it. And was it a wait, what is this? You you it, this was a trend where people would say Carl Ruin Mr. Beast, and then even in Mr. Beast videos, they'd be like, I like it, but not Carl. And it was like a thing that was bigger than Carson. Like he he just thought he it was started funny? it and then it got to top on uh, Reddit. Okay. It got top. Mm. So it was something that he just thought was funny to say. Yeah. Carl got... Carson's whole bit it was like, I'm an asshole. Okay. And I then see. everybody was like, that's funny, man. I will say to back you up for one anecdote I, I, in Carson, I, I like we've done things in the past and he's, he's been like helpful for me in my career. I have to admit that. Mm -hmm. But I, one time we were on the Minecraft server, the OTV one by OTV. I mean, <laughs> Abe made it. <laughs> Who's not an OTV. Uh, <laughs> and I, everyone's like really into it, especially Ryan Higa. Uh -huh. And Ryan Higa kind of quit YouTube and he's doing the stream thing. Yeah, um, shout out the legend, by the way. Yeah, he is yeah. A legend. The really. legend. Legend. Right. Somebody I'd be so nervous to meet. Legend. So Me too. Carson and and Josh, who's Carson's friend at the time, were like following him around and they're like kind of bugging him. And they started doing this this bit in quotes where they were just singing "Nice Guys Finish Last" in front of him for like ten minutes. And like Ryan was not bouncing back. He was like clearly like, okay, like I get it. This is a popular thing I did 15 years ago. That's and they just kept doing it and like laughing amongst themselves. And I was like, this is just bullying a poor man yeah. on like his fun time to play Minecraft. Uh, and I was like, and yeah. I was live and I was like, this is too awkward. And I just yeah. left. Yeah. I, I have hot takes out the wazoo. Yeah. With this kind of stuff. The baby, I, the babies who had iPads are just adults now. Yeah. <laughs> it, is, it is that. Yeah, <laughs> really. actually. And, and the same, dude, the same thing applies to like his, Okay, like him at the time was very critical and him and that whole group was pretty critical on like dream S&P stands and stuff like that. But like what they didn't grasp is that they also had stands that were just a little bit edgier and two years older. You know what I mean? That's yeah. It. And every like I don't I don't care to hear an argument. That is just the truth. You know what I mean? And like they were like, oh, like you're feeding into your stand base. And I'm like, OK, but you tweeting that. And then a bunch of people with your profile pictures like so fucking true. Like you're so right. Same exact thing. I don't yeah. care. You know what I mean? Yeah. Except more toxic. I mean, there are filthy Frank stands too, it, but it's just, it's cooler to have stands when you're, when they're older. Exactly. I That's feel it. like people like that don't recognize that like when you have an enormous fan base, they don't have their like, and they're young. They mm -hmm. don't have their own opinions. They are an echo chamber for your opinions because they are ultimately what a lot of stands are attempting to do is connect to a community of people. Yeah. And so if the general community consensus is we hate this guy, yeah. they're just going to say, oh yeah, I fucking hate that guy because that's yeah. what connects me to my community. And I, I, not to make it too much of like a, not political, but like a controversial thing. I think it's so easy to shit on people when their stands are young girls. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like that's like... <laughs> I wish Lyle was here so bad. No, like young girls <laughs> can't, get a, they can't get a break ever on the internet, to be honest. So it's like it's like so easy when that group comes in because I was like, okay, but you have the same stands, but they're guys that play the trumpet and say gamer words. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what, just the truth. What I hate... That is the funniest <laughs> roast I've ever the, heard. The only, <laughs> the only thing... Your friends have trombones at home. The only, thing that <laughs> saves, the only thing that saves Slime on this is that he resents the people that are fans of him as well. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah, he fucking he's he has vitriol towards he, everyone. He hates fan culture at every level, even his own. 
Yeah. Hmm. Anyone who consumes it further than just like I enjoyed this and I will move on, with which my I'll life, say I respect hates. him for, even if I don't, yeah. feel, I, I I don't feel the same people, way. I think people have different uh, definitions of the word Stan. I feel like Stan used to mean a little bit worse of a thing, right? Well, yeah, Stan was a fucking Eminem song. He's a murderer, right? Like Stan is like more. What wasn't that? Didn't I that would, used to be I stalker never, fan? I would, never, yeah, I, I would never get on a show with Carl Jacobs and negatively define Stan. The, I'm too the, scared. I, I no, I mean, the, whole, the whole premise behind Stan was that it's a fan who is like so encapsulated with you that they're willing to do something fucking insane. And then I think it just like became a lighter term over. And now I think it's just somebody that is like more maybe like has like a hyper fixation towards you. Or something. Yeah. Well, I, I the way me I actually just had a really long conversation about I was trying to separate Stan from fan like what I think the difference was and my the where I independently arrived to was. I think that stands often, not all, but a lot enter in a more unhealthy state of fanship where they start to believe that someone else's life is more interesting or important than their own life. And they are using someone else's personality to connect to, to connect to other people instead of their own personality and create. And they're basically using someone else's actions and memories as their own actions and memories cool. instead of like developing their own life and interests and in who they are. I, I if that's your definition of stand, though, I feel like a lot of what people consider stands of me aren't stands. Then. I, you know then what I mean? I would, but I would agree with that. I would say, yeah, that's they, what I'm saying. Like, I think everybody has different like sure. definitions of stand. I think like, it's a preteen teen thing too, and then you grow out of that. 100. Like, I, think, well, like, I, was I don't think a stand is like something that you're born in and die as. I think it's just like a, a thing you go through, especially as a young person, when you're just like trying to feel connected and, and accepted in the world. Dude, and I, you find people who think you're interesting and cool and like the same. You like the same stuff. You I have the think, same profile pictures. I think it's like to be fair. I think the way that people can be a fan of me or a stand of me or whatever. Like I feel like I've been the same way. Maybe not even for humans, but like I, I hyper. Like you saw my survivor shrine that I have in my house. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like yeah. you guys are yeah. Yeah. smashes into as you. Dude, are. we were freaking out over psychonauts together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like I feel like it's the same thing. I, I don't think there's any difference. Yeah. I think to me. what I hate is because uh, to me stands are the same as like even juicers. Like, like XQCL's fans, juicers are just kind of stands. They in a are way. stands. Let's yeah, see. yeah. It's, it's the same it's idea. It's, it's just it's it's a way for like sixteen to eighteen year old boys to like act like they're being, doing something different, but really mm -hmm. they're doing yeah. the same shit. And if we imagine every creator as like a like a kingdom on a risk board, yeah. and then all of your fans are like little warriors, I think some kingdoms are better at like making sure everyone stays in the borders. Yeah. It doesn't go fuck off. And I don't. I, I think XQC is one of the worst at this because he will yeah. let like his chat Pepe pains me to death and make fun of Miz and make fun of us on all day. Yeah. Because because I mean they all just come back to him at the end of the day and i think uh like a lot of people like especially specifically minecrafters don't take uh responsibility for like a lot of the the fucked ones and there, it, there's it's very small but it's like it's easier to just be like ah, i won't fuck with any of them and i won't i won't like chastise any of them yeah and I'll i'm, just do I'm the, gonna say it i think i'm good at it you could be good at it i i because i've gone on record and i've said if you hate on anybody don't have me as your profile picture right i never condone it you know what i mean i i even if it's yeah my philosophy on the internet just a hundred percent. My rule of thumb is if you're a creator, why are you getting into beef with other creators? It doesn't even make sense. You know what I mean? Just do it's your the, thing, it's, make it's your the money. Fast route and just to attention. Make, it's so boring. Yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. All of the engagement that you get from it is negative engagement. That's going to be fleeting. It's so, just, it's so cringe to me mm -hmm. when people have such stupid fucking beef on the internet with other creators or even just talk shit or make jokes about other creators. I'm like, bro, just stream, play video games and just make your own fucking money. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Or like, create something yeah. like, or just do something the attention cool. you, like, or you the, I mean? the growth you have come from things you make, not from ways you tear down other people. It, it is just, it's like embarrassing. I don't know. They're also powerful stands. What do you mean? There's like, because it's uh, it starts like in a way it's like you tweet a word and then people look up that word and they follow each other and you get mutuals yeah. and then eventually you get enough mutuals that you are a figurehead in that whatever like yeah. subsect culture mm -hmm. and you are like a that figurehead can like say things and so like yeah. like a couple times with me like I at one time I quoted a Prezzo tweet which says Schlatt's the only good racist <laughs> and I said on stream Schlatt's the only good racist that is racist. fucking such a good fucking and then tweet. I said after it as Prezzo said but then like they just clipped yeah. the first part and uh and, and I got a text from my friend from high school. His name's Evan. He's a total fucking normie. And he goes, dude, I'm at this party in New Mexico and they're saying you're racist. And it was like, it was like that week. I was like, what are you fucking? Yeah, that's and you wouldn't have cared unless it was New Mexico. I wouldn't have cared if it was in New Mexico. <laughs> Albuquerque is my town. And so I, I went on stream and I talked about it. And then I got double dunked because there's like, oh, you dox the person who tweeted that out and started that. And I was like, bro, it has like a couple thousand likes. Yeah. And it's on a public Twitter account. I feel like that's not what doxing is. And and it's it. That so isn't what doxing no, is. No, but it's like it's it's something where like you just can't engage, and that's what I've learned. Because like, your I, audience just dogpiles it. Yeah, it's, and it, even if I feel justified, and they were dumb, yeah, I just cannot engage it 
which is like kind of what I did. You kind of just have to hope that you set an example for the smart people and they will outnumber the dumb yes. people. Yes, and so I'll speak yeah. of it vaguely. And that's what I did yeah. on like the last MCC thing where everyone's like, Ludwig's homophobic. And I was like, bro, how many more guys I got to kiss to not be homophobic? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, that's the I have a black friend of I had of the being in my room and I've kissed four men this month. I'm just, a, I'm just a token to you. You just use me. You kissed me on uh, yeah, the lips I, after Mogul Money Live. You ran up to me and kissed me with the wettest lips of all time. I did that in front of Cutie. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I don't. I don't think there's an, anything inherently wrong with being a big fan of something, so long as it's not taking away or like an avenue to ignore, uh, like developing who you are and focusing on like your own uh, yeah. stuff. I, I think it all leans back to uh, honest. I really do think as long as you're not disrupting anybody else then who cares? Like, that's my opinion. Like, if, yeah, if somebody saying, wants to be the biggest Sabnap fan of all time, that's so cringe. But if you <laughs> want to be the biggest Sabnap fan of all time, it doesn't affect me at all. You know what I mean? Like, like you you saying you'd be nervous to meet, like, Ryan Higa. When, I, when we were at this, like, 100 Thieves thing, I, like, walked by Kasim G, and mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my God. That's, like, one yeah. of the only people, like, in this whole industry that I'm like, I actually can't say hi to him. Yeah. I was like, I just can't do it. And I told Will, I told Will Neff that. I was like, I was like, you know Kasim G's here? I didn't know he knew him. I was like, I'm like, you know Kasim G's here? Yeah, I want to throw up my mouth. And uh, he was like, "No, come with me. I'm introducing you." And he grabs me by the wrist. I'm like, "I'm like, I literally won't go. That's, I'm gonna, that's I'm gonna me throw up." And, and I, I went over, and he introduced me. I had a really good conversation with Casim G, and I was just like, "I want to puke." <laughs> like, one of the one of the big reasons when I was like fucking 12 years old, 13 years old, how young I was when I wanted to be a YouTuber, I was like one of the big people I would always watch, fucking watching California on and like, going deep. Yeah, got me into got yeah. me into some interesting porn stars. Uh, yeah. yeah, legend, legend, hood legend. You said Fiona who? Fiona Nova, also from G4. And then yeah. also, my biggest one is probably Jerma. I will never be able to meet Jerma. You never think. met him? Oh no. my god, I met Jerma and I freaked out. Uh, I feel like I'd freak out. He's really... coming this week. What? Uh, I have a beer card event. Oh. You're not going to be here. Have we leaked that yet? Yeah. 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 Oh, oh, I, I haven't leaked it. I didn't, I didn't put it in the thing. I don't think we ever... Well, this comes out... Wednesday, so leak it. it yeah. yeah, we can leak it because it'll be out by Birio then. Kart, if you're watching this on Thursday, oh, it's Birio out. Kart. Birio Kart yeah. is today. Don't I'm driving. doing a Birio Kart event right now. Go to my YouTube channel and I'm playing Birio Kart with Jerma and we're getting drunk. And right now I'm three beers deep having a good time. Oh, if you're listening so on much. Wednesday, it's tomorrow. Uh, I, love, I love people who work hard. Yeah. You know what I wish? I wish, I will say, I wish I had a couple more stands. Yeah. Right after the Mogul Money Live thing, I was trying to like soak it in, you know? Yeah. And I was like, let me look myself up on Twitter. Let me indulge. <laughs> And I'm looking through and I'm like, you know, a couple things from some friends, like Hassan sent a nice message. Cutie posted the most beautiful picture I've ever seen of me in my life. Oh, yeah. Did you see it? No. It was staged. No, it was wait, wait, wait. It on her stage. Yeah, yeah, zipper, uh, pull, it zipper up. pull that up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll pull it up. But it, it, well, after I kept scrolling, it was just fans of Saikuno liking the event, being super proud of him. And I was like, this type, like, fuck. Like, oh, my God. It was only Saikuno well, stands on Twitter talking wait, about it. Won. And I was like, come on. <laughs> no, nope, nope, all Saikuno all the way down. He's been trending for three days from it. I was like, God, it'd damn be it, worse Saikuno. if it was somebody else. But Saikuno, yeah, such an it's angel. Saikuno. He's I, such an angel. This picture is beautiful. And Wait. it's staged. I don't care. It is. So the 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 caption is something effective, like super proud. Uh, he went to bed right after he got home at like four a.m. <laughs> and he fell asleep like this, phone in hand, which is true. You know, I do this a lot. Yeah, it does yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. How, yeah. Do you usually have a, a lighting setup to perfection? It, it as well. the, the bathroom door must it's be open. It's the bathroom door yeah. open, and it, but it looks beautiful. It That's, looks like you would light, light dude, a movie. Dude, this is what I imagine if you died, what you would be doing and how you would look, and then if they made a wax sculpture out of you. That would be of your death. Yeah, when you die before me, I'm gonna. Well, when you do, I'm gonna. When you die ten years before me, <laughs> it's not my gums that are bleeding. When you do, pretty soon, so. <laughs> I'm gonna save that picture, Photoshop it, grayscale, and then do like rest in peace, Ludwig. You know, to 2022. Yeah, <laughs> some fucked up cash run alongside. Yeah, yeah. Killed by swag overdose. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> we we took a picture yesterday. It was me, Carl Hassan. It was like a human pyramid. And like I've been struggling with the caption. And tweet then, it right now. I'll tweet live it right on, now. Live on, live on but, podcast. But Hassan, like we couldn't think of one. And Hassan puts in the group chat like a caption suggestion. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, uh, yeah, like maybe you could put like uh, us uh, carrying Hassan's content. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not good at this. And then Carl goes, uh, <laughs> you just fucking roast him. You go, that wasn't it. Take a lap with the doozy eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I said, bro. Take a lap. <laughs> take a lap. <laughs> Poor Hassan getting lit up. <laughs> and then you said mid song in the group chat. You're lighting this guy up. Hit him with the drop and give me 20. He had a bad interaction. Wait, right, at Anime Expo? Tell me what you would have done. At Anime Expo, yeah. Anime Expo. People are coming up for pictures nonstop. They're sniping because he's live and he looks like a fucking U-Haul truck walking around. Eventually, <laughs> some people come up. Uh, is this guy and he comes up to me. He's like, yo, look, can I get a picture? I was like, yeah. I was like, you want anything else? He's like, nah, who's this guy? And he points to Hassan. I'm like, 
I f- okay. love that interaction. Wait, no, no, it gets, that it gets, and so, uh, that's we, like fine. No, it's like whatever, just brush it off. We take thing. the pick. We take the pick. Then he goes to Hassan. He's like, nah, man, I'm kidding. Can we get a pick? And it sounds like, yeah, sure, whatever. Leans over. And then the frame is him and Hassan, and he slowly starts tilting the phone away to keep Hassan out. And then he and he starts taking it. It sounds like, uh, okay. And keep in mind, like, the whole time, like, just what? keep in mind that Hassan is live, taking the time out of his stream. Yeah. 35K do, people watching. To Obviously, love when fans come up. But it's not like it's exciting content for these 35k people watching. Yeah. I don't fuck you. You take your time to take a picture. Never like, come up to I mean? me. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's I, fuck fans with the face so logo he twice. Does, he does this and he like keeps him out. And then it sounds like, all right. And then he goes away. And he goes, nah, nah, for real, man. No way. Oh, yes. Oh, God, a third no time. Way. Yes. No the first way. time, he three times. Back. I'm, I'm literally saying, it. square the fuck up with me right so, now. So what happens is I put my hand in front of the phone. Yeah. And I say, and I say, no, you don't give it to him. But Hassan, because he's like live, he like yeah. doesn't want to be mean and then be clipped as an asshole. So he takes it. And at one point, Hassan said, he's like, bro, you know, like we're in person, right? Like, like I, I could beat the shit out of you. Like we are here. And he's like, yeah, I know that. He's like, you beat the shit out of me. He's like, whatever. Oh, so uh, you're so cool. He's like, oh, no, yeah, he totally could. Uh, like, he said that. Drooling all over himself. Fuck, I hate so this fucking, fucking I hate dude. that shit. Yeah. I hate that shit so much. I think I understand the, the rabbit hole that PewDiePie went down. Cause he went from. <laughs> I understand how doing like that happening to you could like make you say the N word. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. I, if I was on a bridge right now, <laughs> that was such a lead. That, that was such a. No, I was. Wait, wait, I wasn't done. I wasn't done. Well, yeah, speak to that. Speak specifically that. revolving around pictures. PewDiePie. Tell me why the N word. Okay. Not this take is, pictures. To be clear, this has nothing to do with the N word. That was a, a didn't Nick joke. I didn't, oh, sorry. You you mean like the anti-Semitic stuff? <laughs> You get how yeah, that yeah, can, yeah, yeah, that was okay, good. Yeah, that was okay, fine. Okay, okay. That was fine one? with you. Third one, get a third one. Get a third one. Uh, 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 play Minecraft. Anyway, move to Japan. So PewDiePie <laughs> has, has, yeah. has uh, he he has like a he had a he has a no picture policy now. Sick. He doesn't take pictures with anyone. Okay. If you come up to him, he'd be like, "No, nah, I, I won't do it." Yeah. And then he always wow. goes because I'm the masterpiece, and he goes, "I okay." Like that. But before that, before that, he would take pictures with anyone, right? And then it became, I think, like a lot, and a lot of people just want pictures with you because you're famous, and you notice that, right? And it's not even because you're famous, but they it's because they think you might be famous. It's because they see a group, yeah, forming, and they want to collect the Pokemon badge because, like, you're at Pewter City, man, <laughs> might as well. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and and so then he had a new one, which is like, okay, you got to say a code word. And he had his thing, and it's like a big video. I was like, "All right, you need to know this code word. You gotta say it, bridge." And then we take a picture together, and then and then that eventually fails too, because like the the video is too old, yeah, or yeah, it'll yeah. be like then people like try to prove their knowledge. So that he just went to no picture policy, and I could see, and I'm not there obviously, but I could see like how it, you reach a certain level of like recognition, why you would go that route. Yeah, and I think it makes sense. Yeah, I you, you're asking what would we do if you were Hassan, Are we Hassan in, that in the spot? Yeah. yeah. Uh, You're live. People I, know this. I, so I, I generally like, I've had bad interactions. I don't have nearly as many as like someone like Hassan, but I've had bad interactions. And generally, I like just go, this is not worth like getting mad or even caring right now. I'll just say like, oh, nice to meet you, and leave. And then later, just be like, that guy sucked. Uh, but I think in that specific scenario where I like, I hate that kind of behavior so much, where it's like. You have one. You have your one opportunity in your head. That's how it feels to you to like meet me and say hi to me. And the only avenue you can think is to like bring someone else down to think to make me think you're cooler. Yeah, yeah. And so if I'm the guy being brought down, I think my reaction is just like uh, saying something that instantly communicates to that person they fucked up and like being like, uh, oh, you, does that make you feel good? You think you're funny? And like serious, not laughing. They will instantly start fucking vomiting all over themselves. Oh, like, oh I'm so, I didn't. I was just joking. I was, just, uh, and then just leaving. This is where slime is based because he would say, "What the fuck do you say to me?" Yeah, slime would fight the person. Treat me <laughs> some respect. I'm a human. I've been there when he does this. No it's Amon awesome. fan. No Amon fan would ever do it, so I don't have to worry. You yeah, are you're, the, you're in the clear. Worst meet and greeter of all time. He don't is talk. literally so bad at meeting Why? greeting because he wants to learn everything about each person, their yeah. whole life story. Oh yeah, he's he like, doesn't oh like he met like, an oh my god, you like tennis? I love tennis too. Like, yeah, Federer is actually fucking the goat, man. Like, like what? You, how long have you been playing? Federer and there's is a really line good. of forty <laughs> fucking people who want pictures with him. Yeah, and the show starts in seven minutes. Yeah, <laughs> there, there has to be like a middle ground. I, no, I figured it out. Lovey's the, the goat for real, by the way. By the end, you uh, know what's the strat? At getting in and out of interactions, like the burger. Um, you know what the strat is? Yeah. Um, and not to be disrespectful. But whenever they ask for a picture, you take their phone, take a selfie. Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. 100%. Because they fumble, take their time to open up the camera app. Yeah. And it's not their fault. Obviously, they might be nervous or something. Mm-hmm. But if you take the phone, take a selfie, it's a better picture because mm-hmm. you know the angle. Mm-hmm. And 
It's quicker. <laughs> also, to the makers of Kool Aid. Yeah. <laughs> when I open no, up, no, the, you know what? He he hasn't seen Mr. Shy City. Yet. Yeah, yeah, that's you for you. Have, when you I have. open up the camera app on my phone, why is it out? It's 2022. It when you open up the camera app on your phone, oh, it's, it goes out, not in. The amount yeah. of times, Wait, the amount of times too, what? that people will be like, "What a dumb thing oh, to say!" It should and open up as a like, You're wrong. No. You are wrong for most people. You know how many times you're in a situation where you want to take a picture of something of something in front uh, of you? No, it Way always starts often. out with pointing out. I know. I'm saying it should no, start pointing it should start pointing no. selfie. But I'm saying it there is an equal amount of people who are taking their phone out at like a concert. Watch this. I'm the I'm the bond between the two. Okay. Okay. Put it in the settings. No, they wouldn't yeah, do that. No, that's, based on, no, that's, that's, not based. that's great. That's not based. No, it is no, based. It's not it is based. based. No, okay, I have a better. I have a better solution. I Me and Carl have been talking about this for a while, and we yeah. workshopped it on our podcast. Yeah. Like, if you hard press the button, it front cams, and if you just press it, it, it out cams. No, that you, no, also dumb. What? Wait, maybe, is that just make a setting, They make a setting for so many things that we don't know about. By the way, do you guys know that this is a button? No. What? That's not a button. It's yes. Not. No, it is. No. It, I found this out recently. You can set the Apple logo on the back of your phone in the settings to be something that you can like tap to take photos with. This is a Ligma joke. No, I'm dead Wait, serious. He's like, it just doesn't do anything or doesn't press in, but button. it is a button. If you tap, there's a setting where you can make this like your photo button, your like your app or your Apple you. Pay button. I, I, I'm telling the truth. I'll on my use, phone? It's I'll, insane. I'll I use, did not know. I did not know this. But it works. I didn't know it because it doesn't exist. And that's it's not, not real. real. It's, it's real. Nobody, not real. If you you're listening what? to this, don't check. You know what else is real? On my, because I, I had to set some shit up for Mogul Money Live, and okay. I was I was driving a big ass truck. I was hauling in some shit. <laughs> yeah, uh, you shouldn't legally be allowed to drive a semi. No, no. This is no, this is. Of course not. Yeah, I, I don't think you are legally. Allowed I to almost drive a hit semi. something the first corner out of the lot, and I was like, I should have a license for this. Uh, a semi truck you were driving. No, it's like a really big moving truck. Okay. But it was it like was huge. Like it's the largest but, thing I've but ever the, driven. Like one of the ones that are huge. It's probably maxed out U-Haul. Like max, you could drive without an extra license. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it's like I probably should. The ones that move your whole license. house. Right. Uh, and like, I was on my way because I was building, setting but. up this like yard <laughs> set that we had in the plaza. We yeah. had like a placeholder yard set uh, for people. And one of the things while I saw, I was just getting onto the highway. I saw I see this massive like Dodge Ram truck with huge tires, all black. And decaled on the side is this gigantic shadow the head ho- shadow the hedgehog with flames on the side of the That's fucking the tightest shit of it's all time. like it's like borderline a monster truck and wow. it just has shadow all up and down the side. No pick? No pick. Have, it okay. went by fast. You think I didn't have both hands on the wheel I, of this I, fucking I thing? That, I respect yeah. that. Have you ever played I don't. Have I don't you ever played <laughs> the self titled Shadow the Hedgehog game? Of course GameCube? I have. Yeah, so they gave him a gun in that game. That's the coolest thing that that's Nintendo the best thing that's has, they've has ever, ever allowed. It's yeah. a great it's a great game. I like it. They gave him a mini Uzi. Good. They gave him a mini Uzi. That's the craziest shit ever. Yeah. He murdered so many lives. Yeah, Shadow it's, lied. It's pretty awesome. Shadow did kill. Shadow the Hedgehog <laughs> lied anonymously. And he, wanted, and he fell in love with that underage girl. That was crazy. <laughs> Maria. Have you we seen play different games? I don't even remember that. Have you seen top ten hottest Sonic characters? No. Oh, no. uh, dude, one of the You're greatest. Like, greatest three 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 <laughs> it's one Bruce of the somewhere greatest out there. videos in the internet. Really? Yeah. Oh, I gotta watch Genuinely. this. Genuinely, wow. it's an unironic ranking of the top ten hottest. Dude, I got I got half chubbed when Rouge would come up and. Sonic Adventure 2? I won't lie. Number one is the delightful Mistress Rouge. <laughs> really? That's what it's like. That's what, give me just a hint of Dude, it. Have you ever listened really it. closely to the lyrics whenever you're on a Knuckles level? No. The, so, so the rap, <laughs> I can't say I have. The rapper is Hunted P. He went to jail for possession of weapons. Uh, but, you know, free Hunted P. Uh, he, uh, he, the lyrics of the song in, in the game when you're on any Knuckles level are just talking about how hot Rouge is. Like, there's like, there's like a whole lyric where he's like uh, saying that like, Rouge is thirsty for his jewels. Uh, I'm feeling her in mysterious ways. Whoa. It's in the game. I would, I would, and you just never hear it as a kid. But I, I listen back as an adult. I'm like, wait, this is weird. <laughs> this is, Rouge makes me rock that's hard. Like, <laughs> this maybe, is a, maybe jail's a good spot for him. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the move. Yeah, he didn't even go to jail for that. <laughs> yeah. they, they brought it up in the deposition. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, you guys have been going. You were at Anime Expo. Yes. You're going to go again today. Mm, I yes. need you to explain to me what the appeal of this event is, because I've been every convention I've ever been to is the same thing, where there are booths and lines and basically nothing to do. Not lines, really, but there's a shit, 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 shit ton of booths to yeah. buy. Stuff. Is it just to buy stuff? Yeah. Is that the major reason to go to Anime Expo? Yeah. 
I, I, well, the panels, which we don't do. Like, we, haven't we haven't been able yet. to go to any panels. But there but are, like, the panels, too. If, like, I'm, if I'm, like, an anime fan, do I get to go meet, like, voice actors and shit like that? You would that be able I, to go to, like, a trash taste panel. There's, yeah. like, V Shoujo channels, Hollow Live, if you like VTubers. There's there's a lot of panels, and there's probably, like, anime people there, too. I'm not that knowledgeable no, of The it. last thing I went to, like this, was BlizzCon, and I think it is the worst thing I've ever seen. BlizzCon attended. is a marketing plug, right? Like, because it's just for Blizzard to yeah. show off what they have. They have no substance. Anime convention is like third party people who just for like love of anime. The, love of the sport. Who <laughs> they, they just they bring all anime yeah, lovers. Competitive anime watchers. <laughs> like there was there was multiple shows on the staircase into the convention of people dressed up as like certain characters from a certain show. Yeah. And so it was like like a, it was like a really niche one. It was like hus- hotel husband. And it was like four people dressed up like it was actually everyone dressed up like that. And then four people doing a show oh. and they did a raffle after and it was like just 30 people. I want to go oh, so okay. bad and take pictures of everyone and be like, thanks. I love Death Note. And just do that to every single person there for every single anime. Uh, yeah, I think they both. I, I did look. I did look at somebody and they were wearing like a uh, Tanjiro Demon Slayer cosplay. Mm. I was like, bro, Naruto goes hard, bro. <laughs> and they looked at me like very upset. And I was like, I swear really? to God, I'm kidding. I'm so sorry. Like, I, <laughs> I, I did say sorry, like profusely sorry. I only watch animes that Ludwig is already watching on the couch, and I go join him. It's the okay. only animes I've ever seen. That's respectable. I've never watched one of my own. The best fit there was uh, it was like a girl. She was only wearing like fishnet le- f- fish fishnet legs, mm-hmm. yeah. and then her upper body was just Among Us character. And that is just fucking. Awesome. I didn't see it. Yeah, Dang, it was awesome. tight. It was tight. I love that. Dust Queen. There was literally a pickle Rick running around. Dude, anime. Anime. Dude, he's a, he's Dude, a pickle. Love anime. <laughs> <laughs> Goy, actually, I didn't even think about that. Going as Rick and Morty is really funny. That's yeah. <laughs> that's like 2017 joke though. Yeah, not for me right now. I guess you're new. <laughs> I'm finding this funny right now. Your new wave. <laughs> That's big. I think it's gone back to being funny again. Yeah. No. It returns it back around. It's like damn Daniel. Do you think I get damn a, Daniel's funny I, again? I get a couple pity laughs from back Szechuan sauce again. Yeah. Yeah, you get a couple. I've <laughs> seen that shit. I've only ever seen the Australian episode. I've never seen an episode of Rick and Morty. What? Yeah. Oh, me too. Actually, it is really good. Really? I've heard it's good. Yeah. But I've, have you seen the Australian episode? Yeah. Yeah, it's fire. New Patreon show. What? Watch along Rick and Morty. Rick, Rick and Morty watch uh, along. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, we, we have a Patreon show where we, uh, we're we watching every Disney Channel original movie and doing commentary. Can I be part of one of those? Absolutely. Yeah. It's me and I Slime. To. Have you gone to, um, have you gone to, uh, God, what is the name of the, uh, yeah, start the house? You. The house? Smart house. Smart house. Yeah. Yeah. We have watched you Smart done house. already? Yeah. Oh, it's, that's, it's, never mind then. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's, it's way How worse it? as an adult. No, it's not. It is. I've watched it. Okay. Well, maybe how, I'm just, wait, sorry. I said as an adult. Oh. How many are there total? Uh, about a hundred ish, a little over hundred. What about Look of the Irish? Have you watched that yet? Yeah, also, that pretty one bad. Is as bad. Adult. Yeah, the ones that are fire. So, High School Musical Flames. Have you already watched High School Musical? Yeah, two? We, have, we watched two. We haven't watched two. You watched I'm two. I'm part of two. That's the best right. uh, musical of all time. I don't give a shit. What? Yep. When do you okay. wait, 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 unironically, when do you leave? When do you go home? Tomorrow morning. <laughs> okay. Well, so we'll just squeeze it well, in. Unless we'll you're free, unless you're free tonight. Uh, we'll have to do next time. We'll do it. Most, Fourth of July party. My favorite so far, Tiger Cruise, which covers how children deal with the consequences of 9-11. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. I That's wasn't there for Disney that one, but they told movie. me about it. Wow. Yeah. 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 Uh, the best, so, so far, by the way, if you're curious, the best Disney Channel original movie that we've watched, Stepsister from Planet Weird. I haven't watched it. You should watch it. It's yeah. fucking- Watch it on stream. It is What about bars. Johnny Tsunami? John, flames. Johnny Flames. Johnny Tsunami's still yeah. sick. We, st- is, we uh, haven't watched Kapahala back on board yet, which is the next one. Have you watched Brink? Uh, we haven't watched Brink yet. Brink's awesome. Yeah, just watch him on stream. I'll just watch him on stream. That's how I'll you become can. a real get, streamer. It's illegal. Why the fuck? He watched Total Drama Island. Oh, you can. Watch I got it, it a, a, approved the first time. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's up? <laughs> it's not illegal no. if nobody catches it. So, uh, yeah, actually, yeah, you can come on the show. It's a good time. We just, you know, I dude, mean, I'm gonna leak this. I haven't, I haven't leaked this yet. Like you, know, you know who? So every time we finish a decom, I reach out to one of the actors, really? and I'm like, "Yo, come on our show," and no one ever responds. Oh no! And, and uh, one of them finally responded. Ooh. Christy Carlson Romano. No. Yeah. She's big. Yeah, and her and her management was like, "Yeah, we could probably do this." Uh, blah, blah blah. So so we might have a. I, I this is my first time I've ever leaked wait, this. She's wait, an Eve Stevens. Wait. She's the yeah. sister of Eve Stevens. Yeah. So uh, she she her management and I talked I talked to her for a little bit. And I talked to her management right after. She's down to come on the decom show. 
I like how I'm freaking out about this and we have like Carl on the pod and Mr. Yeah. Beast on the pod. <laughs> it's like you're telling no. me it's Christy Carlson Romano yeah. so it's in a, the flesh. A small so, amount of people out yeah. there are going to fucking love yeah, so that So she, yeah. she's going to be on the, the, no, not the premium episode. No, it's actually the side show that you <laughs> have to be on a higher tier for. You have to be tier two or up in the Patreon. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. yeah so if you want to awesome. see Carl Jacobs and Christy Carlson Romano uh, <laughs> in, in the Patreon, you know, sign up for the Patreon. Patreon.com slash The Yard. You can do the house. You get Third largest Patreon. Patreon. I'll do the episode with Christy and it won't be any Anybody from the actual yard break the internet. <laughs> That's actually, I would rather Dude, that, be that, would be, so that would be our fastest up in patrons like ever. Yeah. <laughs> That's how we take over Chapa Trap House. Uh, well, I think you guys got beef. No, no, no. there's, no. there's just the biggest. There's on one of two people making more than us on Patreon. Do you want to do a quick eulogy? Eulogy for Comtown. Yes. What happened? It's Comtown over. ended. Actually. Yeah. 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 So they, they're well. I shouldn't say they ended. They are. Changing directions. It's the Adam Friedland Stav, show now. Stav has left the show, and uh, Nick and Adam are now starting the Adam Friedland show, and it's going to be a YouTube video podcast with a studio. So they are upgrading. Not not saying Stav's leaving the upgrade, but the studio thing is an upgrade. It's a big step in them trying to make a bigger show. Mm -hmm. But wow. uh, sad to see Come Town die. Rest in peace. It was a big inspiration for us starting our show. They are the adult swim of our cartoon network. Yes, exactly. Which is crazy to say. I'm thinking about, we talked about Kid Dick, but. I mean, they talk about. Uh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> they bring the kid. Dick on yeah, there. They, they <laughs> that's crazy. That's a big one. I feel yeah. Like. So shout out. Uh, they're awesome and funny. They were the big. It's so one of the honestly biggest moments of my career was Stav coming up to me and being like, "Dude, we gotta talk about Patreon. I want to ask you some questions about mm -hmm. like how you guys run your stuff." And I was like, literally one of the big. Like when we were starting our Patreon, we were just asking, "How can we have half Come of down. what content has? Like, how can we get to like?" So now that they even care about how we did stuff is pretty cool. So shout out, Come Town. Uh, I hope the Adam Friedland show is as big or bigger. And, uh, and that's all. And that's all, folks. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I've been watching. I keep rewatching Nick's video that he made of uh, his Tucker Carlson impression. Oh, my I've God. watched it like 20 He's times. He's the impression goat. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's my send That's enough, that's enough that shower. Up. Beautiful. So we hit our 90. Carl, thanks for coming on the show. Oh, we're done now? We can pretend. We can stop pretending. Yeah, we can yeah. kind of like, get out of here. <laughs> yeah, cool. so, yeah, we can Time go, to go our separate ways. So we can call your real name. So, uh, <laughs> uh, go, 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 what is it? What's that? Where are you? Corn, corn, wait, where is he? You go. Oh, uh, this is the reveal. Am I going to see Carl's penis right now? Is that what's going to happen? Oh, wait. Well, why is it purple? What? Uh, yeah, I'm cut. Yeah. Whoa! What's up? Hey, join Team Cut right here, bro. No, bro, we made a handshake. A doctor we mutilated talked about you. a handshake. And a you didn't doctor do it. mutilated you at birth. All right, the Carl. doctor mutilated you when you were young. All right, next <laughs> next week we're gonna have slime back on. And thanks for watching. And see, see everyone later. later. Bye now. Goes up and comes down with a slice of cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what? You said there was none left. You're like, bro. he's like. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, dude, you said there was not, you said there was not. He's like, I wanted it later. <laughs>